real talk. So join Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo on a Friday night, 9 to 12, for Real Talk, the show where we discuss all that's real and nothing ideal, only on Styles FM. Hey, y'all. How are y'all doing tonight? It's good to be here. And it's good to be on for you and with you. Let me say good night to all our listeners. Those who are on the stormy road with Mookie earlier, tearing the place down up in here. Yeah, and all those who are locking in, coming on, on stream just now and on board to enter into the world of real talk. Can I say that? Yeah, it's good to have you and you and you. And welcome to Styles FM. And, of course, to the show, which is called Real Talk, the show where we discuss all that's real and nothing ideal. Of course, you know we're broadcasting from Portland, Jamaica. Yes, your Northeastern radio station, 96.1, 96.5, 96.7 FM. M, right? And of course, my engineer tonight in studio is Cassidy, pretty much always here with me or with us. And my co host tonight will be my crazy friend, Daddy Rude. Yeah, Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo will be on tonight. Let me say kudos and big ups to Lady Shelley and my other. Co-host TJ Prestige, wherever you are, Prestige, take it easy. Go slow, go easy. Yeah, mind your back, mind your neck. Just be careful, Prestige. Just be careful. Go easy tonight, all right? Go easy. Mind your stomach. Yeah? Mind you get drunk. So whatever it is that you're engaged in right now, Prestige, wherever you are, Prestige, if you're sleeping, go easy. Don't sleep the night away. <laughs> All right. So tonight, you know, it's real talk. And I see Princess locked in already. And that's very, very good to know. Do remember, too, that you can feel free to text us or call us locally. The number is 876-453-1444. Or you could say uh, 876-453-1444. Lock it into your phone so you don't forget. All right? And if you want to call us um, from overseas, then that number is 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. And you also know that we have those... On the go numbers in the US of A, Canada, and the UK, right? So let's give you those numbers right now. Uh, Lady Sean is also locked in from Heart Hill. Oh, good to have you on board. Loud, loud, loud. Sean. All right. And good night to you too, my darling princess. So the on the go numbers for the USA, Canada, and the UK, we go with the US of A. <laughs> USA first, 712-832-2772. You look... Is it the glasses, people? I don't know. He looks smart tonight. Let me pause to say my co-host looks very smart, like a UTEC, a UE student. Yeah, like a college student. Bright. Oh, gosh, man. Thank God for the glasses camouflaging him tonight. <laughs> the UK on the go number is 033-0606-0944. And in Canada, it's 647-957-9637. I couldn't wait to call those numbers and finish with the number part so I can take you on. What happened to you last week? Is what you get last week? You look so bright and pretty this t- tonight. Our lips look pink. Is what? I just told Prestige to go easy, and I'm going to tell you the same thing. My youth, go easy. Um, with, with that Vox Pop that you created, <laughs> it's going to be... Why you have to let the cat out of the bag? <laughs> it's Why you have to go tell them I did that? That's not nice. Because every time something <laughs> naughty happens in real talk, they <laughs> assume... But it's always you. Often, you inspired me. <laughs> <laughs> the inspiration came from so, you. So either way, am I I, I, either way, it's your fault. I like your head. I, you know, I knew you would like the head tonight. Come on, I like your head. I knew you would like the head tonight. Thank you. 
You're welcome. So about the face, the face not going with the head? Yes. <laughs> Yes, it is. Oh, the face go with the head. Oh, he calls my hair head, people. For those who don't know, this crazy man calls my hair head. He likes my head. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Okay. And now we go back to the in-house matters. So let me give you those social media pages now to hook us up. Um, you know, while he's bringing those up, as you mentioned, the head. I went in. I was in the bank today. Right. And a friend of mine walked in and, oh, Cleo, hi. I like your hair. Who style your hair? <laughs> I found it so <laughs> funny because no style no went on up there. I just bop, bop, bop with my hand with some, some um, gel something. And, just, zoop, zoop, zoop. and I was done. I, and I, then she was, <laughs> she was saying, oh, who style? Normally you think of styling your hair. You think of Styling, styling it, yeah, you know, but oh, no, it's, remember, it's kind of funny. Um, when you do it yourself, you kind of do it with some amount of love, style. You know? yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm a styles girl. You're a styles girl. <laughs> yes. Hey, listen, I well give give the social yes media the social media and pages, and, and we come back to some hotness in studio. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm not sure you're gonna like it, but oh ahead. Jesus, oh boy. So the YouTube fans, you know, you can check us check out the, the the show afterwards on YouTube, and other shows are also there on YouTube. So go to Styles FM Radio, YouTube people, and for Instagram, you can follow us at Styles FM. We are also on Twitter, so you can check us out at Styles FM nine six one, and for Facebook, you know, the Facebook page is up. It's live tonight, it's right, Cassidy? We're live on FB. Mm -hmm. So Facebook peeps, Styles FM. 96.1 check out the fan page and you can see us live and direct the crazy one that is him and the good one <laughs> the cutish one that's him and the <laughs> pretty one that's moi I, i'd prefer if it and is handsome ish handsome ish yes Pretty, pretty ish one. <laughs> I know you hate that. <laughs> no. <laughs> cute. Uh, that, you know? Before we go to Daddy Rude's comment, which I might not like, I'm going to throw the question out at you. And guess what? You're going to have pretty much like 10 minutes in which to respond to the question. Okay? So you can call in the answer or your answer, that is. Or you can text me. That's quite fine. Marvin is locked in, and I love your DP, Marvin. It says fan fusion, pirates envy. Yeah, episode se se seven. seven. Right, I'm seven, right. Seven. Seven, seven, seven. All right. So good to see Marvin locked in already. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we the got question. Marvin, give thanks. The question is. Who, for you, or how would you define a pretty girl? Who is a pretty girl? And I said pretty, quote unquote, pretty girl for you. Your definition of what a pretty girl is. I want to hear from the men first. And then I go to the ladies. Or send your, send your responses. I'll try to read some of the male ones first. And then I'll go into the female one. Because I don't want the females' responses to influence in any way the males' responses. So, t gentlemen, tell me, what's your definition of a pretty girl? You know, short and spicy answers. So we can get into some other matters later on. And my question is relating to something. So, all right? Yes, rude. What you had on your on your mind that like I'm not gonna like? Yeah, I, I highly doubt <sighs> the females of styles are gonna like it. Oh. Um, uh oh. I'm doing some shirts for all members of staff. And. I think the time when I bought the shirts for the females, uh -huh. you all were a size or two down. What are you trying to say? I'm fat. I'm saying that. <laughs> Your size are two up from the side that I bought. <laughs> I think so. Two when one could work. Two. I mean, looking based on what I, what they, based on what I'm seeing, it, not not just you, you know. Let me and them just fat. <laughs> based on what I'm seeing, I think the stars, the, the stars ladies are very contented in whatever We're lifestyle. Compact. In whatever lifestyle they are enjoying <laughs> at the moment. A friend of mine said I'm compact. I don't know. <laughs> Compact and action pack. Oh, 
Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm. I don't know if my. So. I hope my compactness can hold into my shirt. But I, give give I, me I, a I size have, one of the male size down. I have reservations. Then I walk away the woman one them. Your mother, you can't fit you. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin says, y'all slim, light. Oh, oh he's, def he's defining pretty girl. Is pretty girl. Let me see now. Y'all slim, light skin, no tattoo, like my long, natural, ear, smart, independent, hardworking, and I go get her. Okay. Okay. So I go get I mean I can't have many meanings now, you know, because go get I mean she go get it, you know. Mm, sometimes by whatever means necessary. Hello. All right. So that's your definition. Slim, light skin, no tattoo over here, man. <laughs> okay. Smart, independent, hardworking, go get her. Horen, is it Oren from Calgary? Says pretty girl is in the eyes of the beholder. All right, cool. Fair enough. Um <laughs> Uh, interesting comment, but give me something else, Oren. Yeah, if you were to see a girl, what would make you know you say, "Oh yeah, she's pretty." What is a pretty girl for you? In be, in your eyes, you being the beholder, I know because everybody will have a different view of what pretty is. I, I agree, but for you, what makes her pretty? <laughs> All right, so Cassidy, coming to you quickly. What, who's a pretty girl for you? Why is she? You say, oh my God, that girl is pretty. Physically now, because you don't know her, you know, say inside you out. Can't, what, what you, what you, don't leave no, with this, my girl. pretty girl. It's, no, it's, it's, man, it's the physical. Man definition, the man definition of, I'm going physical. Of, pretty girl. What's a pretty girl for you? You never said that to Marvin. Well, yeah. Okay, fine. I didn't say that. Right. Part, so I want to lead, lead, lead. Um, but yeah. I, but it's going down the road where I wanted to, wanted to go later on. Oh, anyways, pretty girl. Is it that you prefer Marvin over Cassidy? I lo I love them both. <laughs> <laughs> Cassidy. Cassidy, yes, Cassidy. Are you settling for that? The same love that she has for Marvin, she has for <laughs> you. Maybe shut up. For, are you settling clap for you? that? <laughs> Okay, yeah, you more. see? Okay. You see, he, he, knows his, he knows his status. You see? Marvin. Don't argue Cassidy. With, with Cassidy. He knows his status. I'm, I'm sure Marvin is here. Marvin. Maybe you'll be quiet and leave Marvin alone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what's a pretty girl for you, Cassidy? Cassie? No? Oh, yes, I think I see her. I've seen her. She's a pretty girl. Okay. So who's a pretty girl for you? Daddy, rude. Oh, let me ask you, L. <laughs> let me ask. I don't want to hear Daddy Rude's response. You, L, who's a pretty girl apart from Mrs. Jackson? Oh, and she's a pretty girl. Oh, who's a no pretty mercy. girl for you otherwise? It's now 9.30, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, it's um, a good thing we have time. We're going <laughs> to... I'll, I'll get to that after the break. <laughs> um, the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Nessal Native Entertainment Stage Audio and, and Lighting, lighting. We'll we soon come back <laughs> Architects, draftsmen and surveyors get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards we can satisfy your printing needs whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application make it VJ Printing Services whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Yo, this is Jackie the Reggae Best. Join me alongside Jackie Jr. right here on Styles FM each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show. I'm going to take you on a musical ride in a yard style. Coming up, Ska, Rock Steady, and Oh Yeah, we'll rock you from old to new. Roots, culture, and in a dance hall style, Lily, Lily, Lee. Remember, each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show. Check it out. Right here on Styles FM. Yes. Planning a party? 
club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event, let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles of it. All right. Welcome back, guys, to Real Talk with Daddy Rude and yours truly, Lady Cleo. And again, our Cass- Cassidy is our engineer tonight. And the question I asked earlier before we went on the break was, what's your definition of a pretty girl? Quote, unquote, pretty girl. Mm-hmm. And Oren did say that a, a pretty girl is, of course, in the eyes of the beholder. And we do agree. So whatever your definition of pretty girl is, please share so we can look at that prior to going into our next discussion. All right? Because mm. it will pave the way for that discussion. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> so, Javin says, Daddy Rude in a M spectacle door. Lady clear looking lovely as always. Tonk you, tonk you, tonk you. Hey, me ordered... <laughs> my Jack Sparrow costume already showing. Mad, mad. You know, and it's my lady's birthday, July 11, too. So be a things, big I up, tell you, boy. Big up, Javin, big up. I want to see him. I can't wait to see him in that outfit. In the Jack Sparrow. Oh, gosh. I can't wait to see. He's going to wear that so well, I'm sure. <laughs> 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 All right. And of course, my Tiffin style shirt. Oh, shh. Put it in the vamp on the vinyl for dry next time. I hear where the bars are where they can't catch it. <laughs> All right. So, Danny Rude needs to go in a corner. I agree with you, Marvin. <laughs> Naughty corner. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I saw Donald, Donald this week. He didn't see me, though, but I saw him on a bike. What? Yes, man, riding through the town of Port Antonio. Oh, Yang Yang? Yang Yang looking kind of bike. Yeah. Mad. Yeah. But he was going easy. If I like back in the days, then I used to have one of them big bikes there. You know? Oh, Kawasaki? Kaba. No Kawa. A Kawa? No, a Kaba. It's not Kawa. Kaba in Patwa. It's, it's at, Kaba. At anybody. It's Kawasaki. My girl, listen. Kaba. <laughs> ah, I can't take you. Oh, boy. Marvin, wait. So where's my style shirt? Oh, Lord. I, I don't Why know, I Marvin. Uh, Why did you start for true? <laughs> Um, you end up windy with that one. Mm-hmm. So, pretty girl. Yes. Define your pretty girl for us, please. I'm going to start from um, a tender age. Oh, Jesus. And it's unfortunate. <laughs> a pretty girl back in the days was, mm-hmm. the, was the, the brown skin pitney mm-hmm. with the tall hair. Mm-hmm. When you grow as a youth. And even now, mm-hmm. um, a friend of mine's son said it. <clears throat> And that is how kids are nowadays. Blatantly say, my daughter is pretty because she's dark. Oh. Right? And my wife asked him, so who's pretty? And him talk about the, the light-skinned girl you know, in a class. Wow, okay. And he's dark like us. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Prejudice already. So, so we kind of understand um, the mindset yeah. that, that is portrayed. It is a part of two things. The inferiority complex that we, ad- that we adapt even mm-hmm. as early as a child mm-hmm. and also the classism nature 
of how we are yeah. or, or what we've we've also adopted and want to be the fit in mm -hmm. right so you can't really blame certain and certain things we hear to come from kids because kids, yeah some things how we how, what, what, when we allow them for watch certain things on tv and say only the, the the caucasian kids them doing certain things or even if them have a black child in it mm -hmm. the black child is of brown Lighter skin, Lighter skin um, yeah. complexion, the Alicia Keys complexion. Mm -hmm. You have to look good for no say boy and no one white that. Yeah. Seeing? So that is how we were taught. So even when you talk about pretty, one of the first person to come to my mind was Lisa Hanna. Mm -hmm. Right? Even I'll know. I think she's pretty. And sexy. Oh, yes, yeah, she is. Right? Naturally so. So, you know, we we'll, we'll, we'll come up closer and closer and closer. And then me, personally, sorry, sorry, ladies, but me, the man, me just like. Me like dark women. Really? Yes. Me like dark women. First lady's brown. Yeah, but me can't tell her so she know that too. <laughs> you see? Me's a man. There, there's something about the, the dark complexion. There is. You know? Whenever you find a dark, a dark complexion and, and, and the woman pretty. Chocolate. Right? Chocolate. <laughs> That's noir. Right? Is is it is something to behold. And it makes you wonder. True. It's a Jano star. True, true. You know? So there are many factors to pretty. True. And one of the main things about pretty is when certain things pretty. Mm-hmm. And you look ja, like... Da, <laughs> yeah, I, Lord, help Daddy Root now, please. I want all of the... Javi, talk to you. When, when you look certain face and look pretty, you never bother business. Oh, she look <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> Franny pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <Right? laughs> See, so when yes, is there a difference between it, pretty and beautiful? It, yeah, man, a different something. Man. Different? Yeah, man, beautiful a different some. Beautiful comes with certain level of maturity in in the woman. Mm. She start move from pretty to being beautiful, and beautiful is also her inner self too. Exactly. Right. So. So I won't take pretty then. I will take beautiful. Me, my girl. Yeah. I take that one for me. Sister, don't change. Don't ask me a question. And when we reach a certain no, no, part, no, I think no. I'm gonna talk about pretty. When you think pretty. I, no, I agree. I, I'm. But you agree, say. I'm pretty well, and I'm well, well, beautiful. Well, 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 Confidence. Me I talk about and pretty because you have some of them with ugly, you know. That's for them ugly. That's some pretty. You can't. Well, yeah. I think. <laughs> Jesus, you don't have to agree, don't you? <laughs> I think I'm a very beautiful and pretty girl. Donald says, inside, because I think it starts from the inside, to be honest. That's my view. See that? Donald says, pick up to the Don crew. Lady Cleo, Daddy Rude, and Cassidy love the talk. Me, me, Black me, is the most beautiful. Yeah, man. Yeah, but, but, oh, but, but, yes. But, 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 but dark skin. True, man. Real rich. Hey, we talked already, you know. Mm -hmm. So if my wife hears me, I go on Bada Road. Mm -hmm. And is that Browning? Believe, say a lie. <laughs> but if you say me, I go on Bada Road. <laughs> Why? Oh my goodness. Is that 50 50 chance? Is that, is that, is that, is that, is that chocolate skin? Is that temptation? <laughs> Yo, when you, when you say a black, is it my daughter? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh. Mo, Mo is, oh man. Yeah. That skin is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen Mo. So, cool. me, can't, me, me can't tell you no, say. You have certain things about, uh, about the, the whole thing. Dr. Iman Black talked about the millennium no five time. Mm -hmm. See me? Melanin. Right. Who, 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 who does that song about the melanin? Is it. Uh, uh, I know, you know. The young guy there that did Romain. My I think girl. it's Romain. You ever see melanin and something? Sister, me now make you laugh off the thing. you ask <laughs> from 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 nine thirty when me laugh and me go to a break, you know. When you say pretty, you know. Right away, I certainly. I know it's pretty. one thing jumping into your head. I know. Yeah. One thing jumped into time, your head. It was pretty. Oh Jesus. Have so, you ever hey, seen any ugly ones? I'm miserable. <laughs> <laughs> miserable. Would you agree that? Would you I'm agree miserable. that if it's ugly, usually it's because the lady is so miserable and not it, necessarily. It, it, it no, that? no, no, oh, no, 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 no. Some of them just. Yes, princess, in mind, always astray. <laughs> always astray. It's an active imagination. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Javine says, from that place, pretty me good. Ah, as long as the carrier ain't over, overweight, me good. 
Listen, you have you have some overweight, pretty carrier too. Uh, you understand? Waiting pretty. The, the princess, Listen. I never imagined that these crazy men would have taken me down that road to my question. All right, let me ask you. Down, question. down, literally. Are you of course. You're, you're pretty. Very pretty. No miserable. No. <laughs> yeah, sure. You look, you look like no, a sure. I'm, pretty, I'm a pretty girl. I believe that I'm a pretty girl. Clear, don't look like a sure. You're good at miserable. Aren't I a pretty girl, Cassidy? Cassidy wouldn't know that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Cassidy. Can you, I want Marvin. Marvin. I'm not Hold talking on. about that. I'm Cassidy, talking about this. Cassidy said oh, again. Oh Jesus! With, without any reservation. <laughs> without any reservation. What that, that piece of mix up on for me and Cassidy? Pretty. No, I'm talking about. Yes. In I'm miserable. talking about what he can see. Eh? I'm miserable. talking about eh? what Cassidy can see. Aren't I a pretty girl, Cassidy? No, guess they know what answer. I'm going to choke with my scarf, you know. I'm going to have to choke with my scarf tonight. Because no, I don't know why you make that room put in this into ladies, your head. All the ladies out there, irrespective. Oh, Lord. Irrespective of how you may feel about how pretty or beautiful you are. You see, once <laughs> certain things pretty... Believe me, you are pretty. Let me take back my my my, my direction of this question, please. I'm gonna take it back from did, you. Did you not say physical outside appearance? Well, you can see readily. You can't see that. No, readily. no, no. You have put variables to it. No. But I have to wait based on where you're going. No, you, that never. That never. Marvin, that never. Marvin, don't follow a road, <laughs> Cassidy. Oh, you know that star. Oh, you know that star. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about face, you not did. the lower face, but the upper face. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> the upper outside face that you can see like now, you see my face on screen. The head face. My head face. Yes, thank you. Yes. Jesus, that sounds so crazy. <laughs> my head face. <laughs> oh, yes, I know. Oh, boy. So, pretty. Marvin said the tattoos. Some tattoos, some tattoos, some tattoos, some tattoos, some tattoos pretty. Some are cute. You see, I don't want to the butterfly right in the back of the hip hop. Mm hmm. You make a thing. The little ones on the wrist right here, yeah. I think, are cute. Right. And on the ankle there, I would not, I would not put it on because I'm afraid of the needle, needle. But the little one, the little angel or little butterfly mm. or little whatever right there is kind of cute. But the everlasting all over your body thing, I don't think that's cute. But to each his own. And Marvin types away. Let's see what Marvin <laughs> is saying. And Donald is also typing. You ask me a question. Um, boy, and Daddy Rude, you're a man... After my own art, yes. no one, no woman with no tattoo. <laughs> well, Marvin says, all minds are small. I have 19 and counting. 19 what, Marvin? Prettiness. <laughs> <laughs> Prettiness. Let's see what Marvin says otherwise there. All right, so okay. please. Somebody WhatsApp me. About two more minutes for the questions Somebody to be answered. Me. Yes. Let me say. Yes, you need to fix your old, uh, whatever. Anyway, don't talk about your mind. There's nothing wrong, wrong with my mind, my <laughs> friend. It's what Cleo ask, asked, and she says, pretty. And every bridging with me know, if it's one thing them normally comment about a girl, is whether they think pretty, all right, <laughs> ugly. All right? So, Cleo has indicated to us that well she never seen so short so i'm leaving that part alone until she has more confidence and can express herself in, with more confidence <laughs> I, w I will believe that <laughs> cleo is pretty totally <laughs> yes but cassidy oh, without God. any reservation the first time us, right and you put out in his mind the second time hmm. <laughs> what prettiness is Jesus of mercy. Oh Lord, somebody messaged something. I'm, Donald looking, at, I'm boy, not looking at the screen. For real. And if it's ugly, now nah, go back there. <laughs> Donald! <laughs> Donald! <laughs> Jesus. Why have you taken my listeners, oh, taken our <laughs> listeners down that road oh, of 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 that thing looking pretty? As opposed to the face. I was referring to the face, Cassidy. Nothing else. 
Let me ask you a question. That it will corrupt your mind, Cassidy. Why do you think <laughs> a lot of these women are doing the body surgeries in everywhere? Because they want all of them body to look pretty. pretty, right? Including the body surgery there. No, they want to look fat. And pretty. To some, to some men, fat is pretty. pretty. Oh. Oh, boy. Right? And... The surgeries make it symmetrical. I remember some of them lean, 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 <laughs> you know? <laughs> lean, 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 so, but some of them put, they put that um, plastic or whatever, silicone thing there. Because they want prettiness. Oh, Jesus. Prettiness. So you, so, ask, so you see, it was on again to what a man defines as pretty. Is it that when a lady has a fat down there, it's pretty? Is that what makes it pretty men? Because I think no, the men no, out no, there, no, 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 their no, view no, of pretty is so no, distorted. No, yeah, I forget the prettiness that's so, how a man think. But pretty you know? can be on the inside when in, you feel it. In perspective. Into perspective. Feeling it could be pretty as opposed to just seeing well, it. Because well, you could be seeing something pretty on the outside and it's really ugly when you reach there. You know, feel right, so it's ugly. Make you feel ugly too. I mean, like, I look up at her face. <laughs> you kind of, you kind of, you kind of, you me. <laughs> yeah, bring, no, no, princess. <laughs> she, I bring my mind now. <laughs> She's bringing my mind to somewhere very active now. <laughs> so. <laughs> Marvin says, a true, let's see what Marvin says there quickly. Um, oh boy. A true, come me ugly already. Me no want no more ugliness. Go frighten you. Go frighten me. Perfect. Jesus. Donald, Ballad is the best. Ah. Ah. What is Princess saying? Oh boy. You see? Hmm. You see, you, you, have, you have to put things into, per, as, into perspective, you know? We're as cute as we feel. Daddy Road, nah, go on good. N never usually does, does he? <laughs> <laughs> if I laugh tonight, I drop dead. <laughs> so, oh boy. I'm trying to put things. <laughs> into perspective because I've received a lot of messages, um, photographs with what, what I presume are made over women. Mm -hmm. And I say, I never even know that Spice is made over. She is? Right. And me, I look at Spice and I say, boy, you know, baby mother, I see you come back from the farm and stay good. Oh my God. Right? So now, if Spice is made over, me kind of... What do you mean made over? I saw a calendar with her the other day. Um, she looks really nice. I love the chocolate. And I know she has bumper and hip made and all over. these things. Really? That's what I was made to understand. So where are those cuts and, and, and stuff? Makeup cover them? I don't When you're know. made over, don't you get some form of... You want the knife or something? Me no know. Goodness gracious, me no, oh my. The, 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 the plumpy, the plumpy breast, the, the, um, the, 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 the spongy butt, oh. stuff like that. It's all about being, being sexy and pretty and everything, and being beautiful. But, but I don't think that is what remember, makes sexy remember, then. Remember, all them people who do them jobs, remember that's Remember back not in the days when the whole Botox thing was just a lip pumping yeah, up. Yeah, everywhere is being Botoxed now. Right, and them do all Nothing kind of is more something. beautiful than the natural thing. I don't know. Right now, gosh! Right now, to, to all the things that you never know, what real from what are real? Hmm. You see me? But there are men who prefer the fake once it looks quote unquote beautiful or rather pretty to them, well, or it's attractive it? to them. Then they'll go for that as opposed to the real thing, which is not looking the same way. Right now, me prefer the real. More the boy, I'm mean, gonna know because even the messages when when you get the WhatsApp, them me stop, me stop. Look no, because me does no. It does not real. Don't aren't they afraid that these discs or whatever they put in the butts can flip over and then give you a, a concave looking kind of look as opposed to a bulging outward look? No, no, no. Broad hip, big bottom. Small waist. Small waist. I um, think that can come naturally if you go to if you do the right exercises. No. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the, oh. the, the time to get to do that is cheaper to them. Oh, boy. Just go do a surgery. Who? Well, I saw Lisa Hannah back when she did, when she did Miss World. Right. And <clears throat> I thought she was a natural. Her vital stats, stats looked like they were real. I don't think back then you had time to go, well, they did any form of surgeries. She just looked naturally that Shape, good shape, yes. what we call, you know, good shape. 
And she was just a natural beauty to me. Yes, 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 yes. But all this fakeness now, I don't know if that's beautiful at all. God made this world beautiful and him so, don't like ugly. That's true. So to you, you know. Yes. In terms of from a woman's standpoint. Mm -hmm. What what would be a woman's attraction to men? Uh, uh. It's hard to say, mm. but I can tell what a woman's attraction for a man would be. <laughs> but if I were to try to think like a man, mm -hmm. it varies because you have men who will like a woman who physically she got the big boobs and she got big hips and big butt. Mm. And then there are some of the men who will tell you, oh, if the girl's toes are... Me not talk about that part. Physical. Me talk about where you see one man, one big belly man, one maga man, one bald man, one shiny man. All of them sit Oh, there. you mean what, what, would, what a woman would find in, um, attractive yeah. in a man? We are talking about woman for... Oh, uh, that more, didn't, I didn't get your question. You because like how me maga and then sit there and know me stay in. Oh. Pan, 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 pan the ranking. Ranking, Of okay. one to one. What? Uh -huh. One to who? One to one. <laughs> 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 Women fall, you know. <laughs> All right. So I think girls, the, the girls from my era then, I would say, mm. would go for a male, physically now, who is physically well put together. Well put together. That's one thing, by the way. And I'm not going in, going in any particular order. Well put together where... He wears his pants where he's not showing the all of his rear end. Mm. And his pants aren't tight. Mm. He's not sloppy looking. He's not dirty or smelly. He mm. really smells good. And just physically the way he dresses. He might not be so in the in thing, the latest fashion, but he carries himself in such a way that he really looks smart and sharp. Mm. I think a woman of my era would go for someone looking like that. The other thing is now, well, teeth. Very, very, very important. You got to have nice, clean teeth. Yeah. Yes, breath and something for, for smell good. So when he smiles, the teeth just make you say, ooh, I could kiss him. He's so, mmm. Nice teeth is important. Yeah? So grooming too. You can't be talking to him and, and looking in his ears and his ears are dirty. Fingernails, them just dirty. You want to see a whole... His toes can be pedicured too, you know. Mm. You can go get them clean up and not growing to the point where them gone over I want to let them a curve and all them something. <laughs> and, yeah, whether you work in the, in, in the garage or not, wherever you work, your toes must be... Your feet must be pretty. You know what I mean? So... That's just some tip of the iceberg, really. Um, but smell, for me, smell is important. Teeth important. Just a whole overall, a overall wholesome look. It, it might not be drop dead gorgeous like Morris Chestnut or you know, Shamar Moore. You know, say one of them man, you or them guys say. there, you know. Or, um, wait, what's his name? Idris? No, sir. Stop it. <laughs> what that? Oh, my God. It's at all. Oh Lord. Yeah. So he just have he just has to have that overall awesome look. You have on a t shirt on the road. Your t shirt really not supposed to be one uh, one arm stretched gonna east or northwest and the other side that uh, southwest. It stretch out, not even stretch out like stretch out. No, but that means that the man who man not uh, care for him the right way. So that's what I'm saying, but also, or, or he can know what not to wear. Enough woman tear off garments, just, just a stretch it. Oh, up. please. Yeah. And then you're going out, but then you're not, you're not in something that is looking appropriate for where you're going. Wash out, bleach out, shirt. But I you know, I, I, I think men you're can too carry. Fussy, man. No, you're too fussy. men can carry themselves nice and clean and neat too. The same way they want to see a woman on the street so, looking so, nice and so, attractive. So you women want, want to see them looking smart and sweet on the so road you want, too. So yeah, you, you, not because you, you they want, are males. They want to be butto. You want a metrosexual man then? What? That you want? I don't want 
no kinaki? No, I know that me ask you. Kinaki looking? No, me say you want a metrosexual. No, I never said that. <laughs> I just but say you've just basically described. No, that's your opinion, sir. No, well, I'm, all I'm saying is the man I'm must that you've just described a metrosexual. He man. must look like him have some pride in himself. That's all I'm saying. Oh, but go but, dentist, look about yourself, clean up. When it's time for your ear, cut on him something. No, man, you sir, cut your man, ear and fear man no bonnet. Look, look. I lie you a tell. Yeah, no, All the men who text on this show, I know that they are clean. So you said they are. Yeah, you said yeah. Look I, at the stuff. Are you saying that they are metrosexual? Have you ever seen... Well, I've seen them. Are you the saying that... The men of Styles FM, for example. Yeah. The men of Styles All FM. All of them are gangsters. None of them are metrosexual. I didn't say they were metrosexual. But, but, I said but, but they described. carry... No, that's your view. My view of a man who would be put together and attractive to the average woman would be like some of the men of styles, most of the men of styles. I see them carry themselves looking really nice and sharp, nice clean clothes, them smell good. When you go around them, you're like comfortable in their presence because they- You love when around them. I did not say that. <laughs> no man, then what you say? I'm saying the men of styles you carry them themselves good. well, yes. No, uh, so I'm, you lost when you grow on them? No, I don't lost. I asked what so, are you wearing? So, 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 on, so wrong. Wow, you can't lose when you're around them. Why would I, why would I lose after my brothers? So on, then, 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 then Clear all, then sound all, like she love rug, ruggedly sweet men. <laughs> ruggedly sweet. <laughs> 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 Marvin, no, you know, you know, I don't need no effeminate you know, man for you know, sure. In other words, but he must have some th- a little bit of thug, a little bit of you know macho in him. But yes, man, sweet and clean and sharp. Oh, stop it! That's so beautiful. Look at look at Moose teeth. Gosh, she took that from her mom. Your yeah, mother. <laughs> <laughs> So Marvin says, Cleo, please, may I beg you, answer the question and stop growing Junction Corner. Exactly. And I tell we about other, let's see what exactly. you say about other girls. She's We're so talking confused. About, I just told you about me. What's wrong with Marvin? Marvin is looking ahead with you for too long, you know. Burn up. <laughs> Burn up. <laughs> Marvin, I just told you, he got to smell good, look physically clean. Good to be, you know, want to be around him and teeth, <laughs> breath, teeth, of it intact, clean, simple, and 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 and, and to go deeper than just the physical. No, it got to be smart, hmm. intelligent, intellectual, bright. You know, bright I'm, meaning I'm, I'm, can really, talk about any I'm subject really, and I'm you really know. I'm really happy you mentioned that. There are a lot of women out there. Mm-hmm. Who and, and it's in one of your box pop questions, right? Mm-hmm. In, in in some way, we say all of what you've just described mm-hmm. is one of the very reasons why a lot of women are still single right now. Why? Because we have some standard. The standard. And some people can't match up. And I think women deliver a lot of women out there. I'm gonna say this without any remorse which most of what i say i have no remorse about because a lot of women out there Mm -hmm. that are single Mm -hmm. i believe father cast that them set this standard (laughs) right that they themselves i want the woman and listen to me keenly you know a lot of women out there who single set a standard of a man that they themselves can't get. And that Hold is one of the on. reasons why them single Cassidy. Hold on. You understand what I said a while ago, Cassidy? Hold on. No woman out there were single and now no man and complain every day about how man tan and the type of man where they like and blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. Them set a standard. And what's wrong with the standard? Where they themselves can't get what a man like wrong, that. Ladies, is what is wrong, ladies? What is wrong with the standard? Right? You men out it there have your o'clock. standards. I don't right? know why Marvin taking me no, on tonight no for my response. No man that's on a single. I don't. And I complain Uno? about... But, 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 them. But, 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 but all good men are, no. are, are gone and no, no good man exists. No, no, no. I get to no can't get no. man. You, said, you asked a question and I responded. If the men out there do not have nice teeth. Time. 
Right? I know. We're cap. coming back after the break. Ridiculous. <laughs> the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk oh, is sponsored ridiculous. by Nessal. No for no single cars and no can. Oh, please. No man and no can. I don't want no to smell, no. smell bad more. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negative and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399, 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital tea. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8. Come, Styles FM. Digital tea. Our brain. Uh -huh. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can't get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, no? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's. Comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and hardware. Opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. Ah, uh, Daddy Rude is here and Lady Cleo. And I'm glad we're back from the break, ladies and gentlemen. Whose, in case you're brain, just, whose brain just popped? In case you're just joining us, we're talking about, I asked a question earlier, which obviously I touched some people's buttons with my response. <laughs> um, what the men define as pretty as it relates to a girl, a lady who is a pretty girl, quote-unquote, for them. 
Now they flipped the script and they asked me, how, who do I see as the ideal, so to speak, kind of guy? Pretty boy. Pretty boy, yeah? Brr. And I'm saying, in my view, a man who carries himself overall, he looks well presentable, his teeth are clean, um, he smells good, and he's smart, and can have any convert. Because there are men out there, people, despite what y'all think, mm -hmm. there are men out there who fit that criteria. There are men out there who are smart, who are street smart, and, and book smart. And they can have a conversation about it, just about anything. Mm. Right? There are men out there that. who care themselves well and We're smell good. I've never been that. very close to Donald, but I have no doubt he smells good. Donald is a smart man. Listen. Donald can have just about any conversation. I think you just said Donald can Donald have just about is any woman he wants. That too. Uh, no, that too. Donald is yeah, also yeah, a, grown, a, a, grown, Donald grown is also, from my op opinion and what I've seen and heard, is someone who would knows exactly how to, to, to ca care for and to take care of a woman. So when I'm giving my preference, so to speak, or what I would find intriguing about a man, yeah, and you're Donald. all you're all yeah, jumping Donald. be quiet. I'm and you're all <laughs> jumping down my throat like like Marvin, I don't get it. What did I say that bruised anybody's ego? I don't know. When I said because that. if I had said I want a man or I, I would be attracted to a man who is filthy all the time, just nah. not smell right, nah. him teeth them chaka chaka, nah. meaning My them want chaka clean. Chaka. No, me not talk about that. Me talk about one clean and just, you know, just not look presentable. You all would say, well, okay, Cleo, that's cool. I, I bet you'd all say that. But the moment I'm now describing what I would find intriguing or attractive, you all bashing me for what and i'm not gonna change and i'll repeat it for all those who didn't hear and those who heard and took offense to it yes if i have no sense i am not interested and when i say no sense if he can't have a conversation if he can't discuss a certain topic with me clear, or just clear, about clear, any topic clear, let clear. me finish yeah, yeah, go let back, me yeah, finish go if, I, if he can't I'm, re I'm repeating it. Yes. Clear. If he can't have a decent, ordinary convo on any topic, describe. I'm not interested. Clear. If him teeth them not clean, me not interested. You see, if we sum up if everything... If him don't smell good, me not interested. Fine. But you see, if we sum up What's everything... What's the problem? If we sum up everything we just described a while ago... There's right? some things I can't speak on air. <laughs> There's anyway, some things I can't speak on air. If we sum up everything that you've just described, hmm. right... On a page, right? Well, Javin him too. What's the problem? Read what Javin has said. No women only think them bright yeah. and intelligent yeah. more than the average man because yeah. them got to them get to go college mm. and a few degrees. Mm. But ask them to change a spear, you'll hear, oh, that's a man's job. Uh -uh. Then too busy high standard shopping them past the right shop. <laughs> uh, the average pretty girl is a girl that loves a life, kids, her mom, and just caring, cool and calm. No fussy. No for Javi. No, nah, bash you. Just that is a girly kind of man you have described. Exactly. Before. Yeah, you did. What? Yeah, man. What made him girly? What did I say that made, made that description girly? Tell me. Sistrin, that's why I'm saying if you package all that you no, just No, no. Right? I said... I said, yep. the man, Donald said something about, um, not thuggy. I use the word thuggy. And I said, yes. Donald was he just should, basically no, trying to help you out. I should. I Donald should. Said, I got on the metro no, road. No, I did not. Metro road, I no, I girl. did not. No, I did not. I said, he needs to have some thug in him. Yes. Some macho in his, I said that. Nobody heard that. I said, he needs to have some <laughs> macho in him. Not effeminate. Effeminate means girly, girly man. I said that. I don't Long want after, that kind of person. I, 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 no. I, I, the pressure reach you. No. Which pressure? The pressure don't reach me. <laughs> me not at work. <laughs> Only sometimes pressure come from work. Yeah. Listen. Hear, no, just, just hear me no, out. no. Hold on, no give me man. a minute. Hear me out a you minute, guys right? Are, this is not to you, you know, but this, this is to a lot of women out there. Straight up. 
right? Girl. A lot of what you, you, you just described, a lot of what you just described, if you, if you were to package it or put it and write it down on a page, is precisely what a lot of women, a lot of women would want. What's wrong with that? Absolutely nothing. But give me a second. What about it being girly? Hold on, give no, hold on. Tell me what about it No, 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 no. If you're gonna accuse me of saying the man was girly in my description, tell me what made him girly. What made him girly? Yes. All right, watch me. Number one. Yes. You go down the road. Uh huh. Of. Yes, they play what they said. Come now and tell a lie upon him, you know. Can you know me notorious for that? What <laughs> did I say? Javine and you Marvin. You described a metrosexual man. You How did. so? By all of the sitting there where the man supposed to come with. All of what? I mean, about. I mean, Mr. Finger three. nail. Oh, the Jesus. Toe nail, oh, Jesus. Right? Oh. Finger doing toe. Okay, right. so I'm going to take one man when you tell him can't look one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You say one hand, hand for the shirt, hand for the next, hand for the dog. I am talking about how him carry himself. That's the overall. Yes, I have no apologies, Javine and Marvin. Too bad. And him teeth for stay a certain way. So who wants to kiss a man when him teeth are chucking up and dirty? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ladies, please. Ladies, please. I need ladies to call him because these men are I'm saying to you that... Call her on all that thought. Call her on the four five three. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Donald. I love the card machine. Donald. We just fly on I love the card machine. We just vex. <laughs> Donald, tell me now. Did I describe a feminine man a while ago? Lady Claire. Yes, sir. If the grill not right, check your answers. So fine. Grill up right. Did I describe uh, a man that was a female a while ago when I said his nails are for clean? I said, I said in metrosexual. Into them. All right. I'm going to put something to you. I said metrosexual. I didn't oh, say Jesus. female. I'm going to put something to you. Yes, Donald. The construction worker where I push the shovel and yeah. I mix the cement. Yeah. Mm. And then rockably nice. And um, you know, cement gets involved with the tools, them and get involved with the nails, them and all of it. Yeah, the they might twist up a little bit. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, where I try to tell myself. No, 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 you see, that is it. You men have taken what I've said and misconstrued it. I'm no. I am not talking about a man who goes to work and gets his hand dirty and his feet dirty. I am talking about a man overall. Um, Donald, a man can be working in a construction site. And when him leave work and him go home, you can never tell he was a construction, um, he's a construction no, worker. Average Jamaican man. Average Jamaican man from a construction site is not that man. Donald. Jesus. Yeah. Donald. Oh, gosh. Yeah. No, no, no. What, 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 what may I try get get the opportunity oh, from Cleo you know, to explain to her? You say all of what she described is what a lot of women, if you package it, is what a lot of women would want. Yes. What I'm saying is that... They want a pretty boy. Then. The, all right. Right. It's not a pretty the, boy. The, the pretty, intelligent boy. Jesus. We're, 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 we're single. We're, we're not on a body. Zane, this is uh, where a lot of women describe saying they want, you know, Zane. Most of but, them pretty intelligent boy are them boy. <laughs> me, that's why I say me avoid, me avoid the thing I'm, I'm, I'm going to kind of discipline with, with the word metro, you know. Me kind of make it oh. serious so because metro you not necessarily dead, so, you know, but I, they might dead, you know. I don't want somebody but, like that. But when, but when me are sure clear, Zane, so the standard where she has set, I put out there a way a lot of women put out put out as a standard man what they want. Is the very reason why enough of them single is the very reason why enough of them. Yeah, they, because they're too picky. Right. Let me tell us something. No. They, they, well, I know, no enough of them. Oh. Donald. Lord. Yeah. Enough woman. Right now. Enough woman. And they're going to beg tonight with me. Two things. Is either they have no youth. Right? Because they might look for Mr. Ideal. And Mr. Ideal probably dead there, you know. Yeah, but, well, I know, he's probably dead there. But guess what, Mr. Ideal, no one there. Why are we changing because the subject? Why no, no. are we changing the subject altogether? Well, We're not talking about pretty. what We're defines not a pretty woman. And yes. you switch to say pretty boy too. what defines a pretty man. <laughs> <laughs> you, def you ask him about a pretty man. And I'm saying, this is <laughs> the afternoon of Donald. Donald, Donald don't man. follow that road. <laughs> You're smarter than that. It's not about a pretty boy I'm describing. He asked, what about a male would f make me think he's attractive? That's what he asked, basically, you know? 
Well, I, I don't want no pretty effeminate guy who go on like girl. Hell no. You know what I'm going to do? Donald, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, you see, since she not give the opportunity to say what I'm going to say. To talk rubbish, no. Right? The, the, in the box, Papa, what we're going to talk about tonight, it must come up back. Oh, man. But here's what I said to you at the Harry Road. Most of the women them these days, they don't have much to offer. You know? Why is and because they don't have much to offer, they might try to find them. They don't have it to offer. I'm done. Yeah, that's right. Donald, and, Donald, you're changing the subject. You're not changing the subject. Yes, you are changing the subject. You talk about a woman being pretty. If her vagina is pretty, then she's pretty. Why can't I say if well, a man's teeth is pretty, then he's pretty? Donald. And he's okay to have. And all of the bridge of them out there. Oh, my God. Oh, see how food in our, our pretty was basic. Well, you see it? And that is the reason, oh, that is the very reason why I'm flipping, you know. No, the only man thing you pretty, have pretty is basic. The only thing a man thinks clear. a woman is pretty for is her vagina. Me ask clear so what she is as a pretty yeah, man. Yeah, and yeah. she describe yeah. she, she she give her a whole essay. I have no yeah. reservations in saying it again. It's if it's teeth you not pretty, I don't I don't teach a lot to talk about. Teeth, smell, and carrying himself properly. Hygiene. Nothing wrong with that. All we talk about a little complexion and the prettiness and the prettiness. Oh, Jesus. Are we yeah. good? Yeah, I got it road. Yeah. Hey, what's that? I don't know if it's Canada, you know. <laughs> and my girl, I come look for me, right? See. And my girl, pretty, look like a Lisa, you know? Yeah. From the last day of my mother, pretty. Yeah? And for the plane, she had come up and I was a China boy and I ate in her ears. And I did it and did it and did it. It's when he move, when she run, come jump on me. When we him, him come out of, when he come out of the terminal, I run, come jump on me and kiss me. It's like one look upon him, face like, I'm really smart. It's smart. <laughs> what kind of old woman is this? Yeah, that's why I come in now. I look at your up, chat, but, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah. Skip out. Yeah, I'm a star. I'm going to pick up a girl. Yeah. No, he come out the door, you know. Come out the door, like you want to see where me drive. And then get out that door. And when the bench pull up beside her, I'm going to come out and show her the back of me and I'm back. I said, you're going to get it. Beside him and I said, you got straight. Simple. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Yeah. A damn type of man, the clear one. Fuck it. Look here. No, 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 no. I'm not going to accept that. Like I said, like I said, if it is that he does construction work, fine. Because mm. I've seen men who are on sites, men who are in garage, working in garage, and when they are finished and they are oh, going they are home and clean up themselves, you can never even tell that they were, they were they, they, that's the kind of work that they do, dirty work in terms of they're getting their hands dirty. I am not saying I have a problem with a man who does that. I'm just no, no. saying... Overall, the same construction worker, Clear, the mechanic, out. the office person, I whatever was... work he does, he must, at the end of the day, carry himself properly, smell good, have clean teeth. All right. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Clear, you know, you sound yeah. like. Yeah. You know, sound like clear. When Buster Douglas knock out Mike Tyson. Oh, be quiet. I saw you so. Go ahead. Um, go ahead. Um, yeah. Yes. I think. Mm. I went me and my guy. Um, this, this Rasta man, no, no, going forward. This musician Rasta man, um, Jesus, the name, the name is, but him look rugged, you know, and in uh, culture, you ever see culture? I can't remember. Readily, right? Yeah, you, you know, culture. yeah, man, culture, big artist. You know what culture? Vet, vet, um, a, a, a veteran. Um, you know, culture, you know, culture. Vet, veteran. Why? Okay, why wouldn't I? Culture I mean, here. I in, in did a, not uh, say a, I would not. You must trade locks and you must buckle. Oh, God. Buckle locks and the whole of them things. I did not say if the man is a rasta or he's rugged or nothing, I wouldn't be interested. I just okay. gave a general thing to say. Whether I'm a rasta, ballad, shiny, Indian or chief. Clear. In teeth, if it turn good, if it smell good, if it carry himself properly. Jesus Clear. have mercy. What's so hard to understand in that? Rest one, you lose one. Yeah. No, I've not lost anything. <laughs> the women out there who are listening to what I've said and the men who have been yeah. listening to what I've been <laughs> saying <laughs> would understand. <laughs> that I'll make you go on. It's not half doing a pretty boy, you know. 
Go away, go on like girl. I do not find effeminate men attractive. Boy, them, I don't. Boy, don't. Don't go near the pretty boy. Them the pretty boy. Them boy. For, <laughs> for men, a pretty girl is defined by how her vagina looks. No, we never say that. No, no, no. I'm we never saying, say that. We never say that. Quote we never say that. Quote. Coat and coat. We're, coat. <laughs> we're not talking about pretty in the sense of a boy or a male who go on like a girl and in face pretty and he hear this. I am talking about pretty to the sen- in the sense where how him carry himself, how him teeth stay, how him smell. That for me would be like wow, a wow moment, nothing else. Yeah. You know the most beautiful woman from the face of the earth is mm. the woman are pretty in all ways. Beauty. Beauty down there. Say Beauty again. in how she lives. Beauty in her demeanor. Beauty in her culture. Beauty in her every aspect of the world. Yes, but so why me can't define my my why me can't define my male as a, a my beautiful yeah, male. Yeah, yeah. It's yes. That most important thing is ugly. Is what? That most important thing is ugly. We will run, <laughs> we will hide, <laughs> and we will not go back there. Donald. Later, Donald. <laughs> Later. <laughs> All right, Donald. Can some of the ladies who have some read, read what Denise is saying? Consciousness just calling, please. Denise, because... Denise is very conscious. Oh, read what yes Denise she is. is saying. Denise, hi, how are you doing? Good, good evening, everyone. I can't stay quiet no more. Statistics <laughs> show that there are more women with degree or higher educational level in our country. Also, there are some women out there who can drive truck, trailer, change tire, oil, and take care of them business more than some men out there. That's so true. Miss Cleo, no worries. The problem is you describe a man that most of them don't fit that criteria. Thank you, Denise. Thank you. Eh, because not we not see Denise. nothing wrong well, not, if not the wrong. man fingernail clean. Well, in the means a woman or a girl. Well, not, not wrong. What, I nothing, don't get to know. Nothing is wrong with Call her on the four or five. And three. Then, then he's, then good, right good night, end. caller. Hello, you're on air. Good night, caller. Not getting anything here, Cassidy. Then he's. I'll invite you to call right he's back. Discri- he's saying basically what you know what I'm saying. No, 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 you see what you does this the, the kind of person here does describe some of those stuff is stuff that i do some of us what no, the whole get get me like you know get your foot down get your nails done and thing like that oh. because of the fact that number one i'm a manager you see what i'm saying mm. so i have to look presentable at all times no matter what mm. you know what i mean and you know you work in the food industry so you can't look certain certain way Jesus. When it comes to the whole cologne stuff, I'm a cologne person. I love wearing cologne. You know what I mean? I like the hundred dollar box of cologne, always smelling good. But when somebody says pretty boy, you're a pretty boy, it doesn't necessarily mean the way you look. It can't just be the way you carry yourself, the things you do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm listening to you. So da- Daddy Roo did I- not ask me about say a boy who's pretty. I was describing any pretty boy as you guys put it. <laughs> I am saying somebody who I would find intriguing. The things that would, that would make me be intrigued about a man. Which the man that is a, a man. And not an effeminate, uh. girly kind of man. No. I was describing somebody who I would find intrigued. Intriguing. And, and, Jesus. Yeah, and that, that's fine. No, I mean, what you said is nothing wrong with it. But, in the, okay, if you say that, should say that to somebody in America, they would still say, oh, that sounds like a pretty boy. 
Oh, Jesus. Apart from what doesn't necessarily mean the way you look. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you are right about what you're saying, yes. Yeah? But that still classifies as pretty boy. But what right do y'all have to tell me that my description of what I'd find attractive makes him a pretty boy? Who gives anybody the right to put that in context like that? Those who, know, those who understand what a pretty boy means. With a man, oh, it's not that complicated. Don't worry about it. As long as you know, look good, look good. That's it. Simple. Your face, your so, face don't look like whatever. I wouldn't really care. <laughs> so who has it who who has it twisted who has it twisted a female who thinks that a man who's attractive to her is one who carries himself well overall or a man who thinks once a woman's vagina is pretty that makes her pretty who has it twisted tell me we didn't say that it's not that it's not it's not necessarily twisted it's what point of view what we what shallow minded is just from like how you as a female said you like this you like that from a girl's perspective no but you're all jump like as long as it's you're all attacking me and telling me that, oh, Cleo wants a man who doesn't exist and the man he just described is a, is a pretty boy and this, that, all kind of foolishness. When all I was just saying was, for me, this would make me say, yes, the man carry himself properly all because right. I honestly believe, Marvin, that if a, wo a woman should carry themselves well, I believe that. And I also believe equally so that a man, not because he's a man, must look like some boogie aga butu all the time. No. A man's fingers can be groomed too. A man's feet can be groomed too. That doesn't mean that he is gay or he's girly. Where you all get this thing from? Right there. No, I don't I don't think I don't really think so. <laughs> even my, like, even my, like even my wife, right? My wife. Like every when I said every weekend, every weekend she got her nails done, she got her hair done. She keep up, you know what I mean? So and why shouldn't a man just, keep up? That just, that, cause I well I keep up, I keep up with myself, you know what I mean? Groom, well groom, the way I dress. You know Nothing I mean? is myself. wrong with a man keeping up. So all those who think that men who keep up, yeah, are gay. Then too bad. We never said that. We didn't say no, that. No, you're implying. You're all implying no, no, that. No, 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 no. We didn't say that. We didn't say that. I am just annoyed I mean, by I mean, your comments I, tonight. I think it's just a, <laughs> clear. All right, clear. Yes. It's when it comes to that, when it comes to that, I, I cannot think it's just a cultural thing because I think guys over here in the, in the oil field, you know what I mean? They're in the oil field, they work, and when I kid you not, when you go to the mall. Half of them guys line up in there, get their foot done. You know what I mean? They're getting pedicure, they get getting manicure. I you know. know I, mean? I so know. I don't think, I don't know. I guess it's just a kind of control thing. But, but like I said, I've seen men who are their daily work, they get their hands dirty, their feet dirty, their clothes dirty. But when those same men clean up, you could never know. And that's all I'm saying. He must carry himself overall properly. I'm not saying when he's at work, he's going to be all clean. And I don't have a problem with a construction worker looking all covered in cement if, he, if he's working. I'm good with that. And all kind of, you know, funky, rustic kind of smell. I ain't got a problem with that either. Like I'm I just saying. Man. No, man. No, I'm just you. saying. No, no, it, works, it, it works and it brings in the money. Yeah? <laughs> pays well part, i'm yeah, saying part, I believe you know. i'm just saying i respect a man who works i respect a man who is a construction worker who is a mason who is a carpenter whatever he does a that tiler a plumber office worker whatever he does once at the end of the day I mean, I'm a Rasta man I'm a ballad man whatever at the end of the day okay. i can see him on the street and i can say this man is putting him has put himself together properly. You mean after, I, after, after I'm done work on the site in go in, in go be a drone icon and I am and just, talking eh? about general is on which the part, street. Which site you are talking about? So even if he's at work and him have him all sweaty and wet up, that's fine. And come that's it. good. I'm just saying at the Marvin. end of any day, you're putting yourself together properly. We're we, we going to ten thirty break here cause clear stress out, bad for uh, half hour, non stop. Oh no, oh no. 
I don't know, you know, Charm soon call, I'm sure, but probably at work. I can't wait to ch- <laughs> okay. for Charm to come on for me. It's now right. 10 31, ladies and gentlemen. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services, and Real Talk is sponsored by Nessal. We'll soon forward. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Planning a party? Club night out? Stage show? A gospel concert? Or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Roger, you know what I just realized? How come for your shop always full? And you can barely count the amount of people who come in a Femi shop. Then you know see Fear Shop get international. A Styles FM she a mind our business with. Styles FM fit you? Yes. A time you mind your business. Same like how she a mind our business. And a sponsor one show past Styles FM. I saw you feel mind your business. And take out one package and sponsor one of their show too. She a get ads. She a get mentions. Our business I get chat about. I want me to you. Mind your business. Yes, that's right. You can sponsor a program on Styles FM. Starting as low as $4,000 per month. Conditions apply. Contact us today at 876-993-3358 or 876-518-2399. Styles FM, get your business out there. Mind your funky business. Mind your funky business. Leave me alone. Mind me, leave me alone. For the best quality in sound. Reinforcement and backlining, native audio. We have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences, and small stage shows. Crystal clear sound, native audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native audio. We make your events audible. 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 Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back to Real Talk. And boy, has it been a Real Talk or not? Well, we do have some Vox Pop. We're going to look at the Vox well, we, we have a Vox Pop tonight. Um, we got yourself, Tariq. And yes, who was it, Tariq? Yeah, from uh, Hartill. From Hartill. All right, good to have you on board. Talk the truth. Yeah. Everyone has their own established standards and value system. Are you willing... That's where it starts. Okay. Are you willing to compromise hot. or give up any of these in order to enter into a relationship or to fulfill a lustful desire for someone? Everyone has their own established standards and value systems. Are you willing to compromise or give up any of these in order to enter into a relationship 
or to fulfill a lustful desire for someone. Part two says, why are men more quick or ready to have unprotected sex with a so-called pretty girl? <laughs> they are more readily to, to do so. Why? Part three, what physical attribute of a person would be a huge turn off from finding him or her attractive? Hmm. So, there are people who have different values and different standards. Hmm. And one person's standard might not be your standard. Right. And because the person's standard is different from yours, doesn't mean that yours is any higher or lower than the person's. So, for example, there are some women who will say, I need to get married first before I have sexual encounter. Rubbish. There are some women who will stick to that. There are some men who will say, look, if me not sample in the bag first. As you see me, give me. Right? Me now go down or marry with, the, marry with, the with you. And vice versa. And there are some who will say, boy, the moment you give it up the first night, me now look back. And there are some who will say, you know what? Me now go out and have a connection right and things go on. And she give it up. Yeah. All the more reason why we can decide quicker if we want to stick yeah. and we want to cut. And it goes up. The, the list is endless as it relates to standards and values that people have. And as I said before, not because the person who says, I want to wait and get to know this man first, not because that lady chooses that way, does not mean her standard is any higher than the woman who goes out trying to get to know this man, the chemistry is right, they feel the connection, and things happen. That doesn't mean that her standard is any less than the other lady, right? So let's get that straight. Now, that's your opinion, right? Yes, that's my opinion. Okay. And it's many people's view. <laughs> many people's view. All right. So is it the majority's view? I should think so. You sure? In all in all fairness to the to the to the different people, the mm. fact that standard is based on you as a person, right? Then who am I to judge that her standard is any less than, no, than mine? No, you're speaking different. That's what I was, that's what I'm saying in essence. I didn't get that. No, no, no. Saying. I'm saying because I think and appreciate different things than what you would appreciate right. or many things differently. Some things common, yeah. I can't sit and say, oh, daddy road, who just want one and move, yeah. which I don't agree with that personally. But if it is that you just want to have one and move and cut, why would I judge you to say your value system is any less than mine? I don't know what you went through while you decided to go that route. Yeah, in all fairness. Call her on the, on the 453. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night. Hi, what's up? I'm here in life. Daddy Wood. Oi. Pick up yourself, man. Give thanks. Give thanks, yes. Artin. Yeah, give man. thanks. Yes, sir. Ah, <laughs> I just, I just come in on your topic here. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and the talk, topic sounds like it's a bit little heavy for a little clear tonight. <laughs> what is it happening? What does that mean? <laughs> I, I don't know which part you're referring to, is the second part or the first part? Well, yeah, just before the second part come in. It would be the first part. Okay, well, I guess, yeah, I, was, I, I think they misconstrued my comment, pretty much. Yes. <laughs> I hear you was on the defense, and you were calling for charm. <laughs> yes, man, charm would be the one to assist me, because the men have twisted what I've said. <laughs> <laughs> about what I like in terms of what I would like in a man, in a man physically okay. speaking, and they've taken what I've said and turned it upside down, inside out, and saying, I want a pretty boy. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So what do you think about their saying that they are saying, uh, they are saying opposite to what you mean? Yes, and all I'm saying is that the man must just look proper all the time, you know, carry himself properly, nice clean teeth, so I can kiss him if I have to kiss him. And it's, it, must, it must smell good. Yes, and, that, and that's all right. And I think you should maintain the standard, you know, because you I will. Maintain the standard. That's because right. Uh, whatever, you should maintain a standard. But, uh, but um, 
the fact is that uh, mm -hmm. standards are varied sometimes. Right. You have to compromise sometimes. Yeah, man. That is in the game, too. Yeah. But we not compromise dirty teeth, though. I'm sorry. No, you, you shouldn't. But, all right. I mean, you shouldn't compromise nothing for dirty anything at all. Right, right. Whether teeth or attitude or... Yes, true, true. ...to nail or shoes or whatever, whatever. You should and dress and attirement. Yes. Shouldn't comp that should not be compromised. Real talk. It should, should always be the, um, ambitious. True. Um, but um, the, but I want to ask you another question. Yes. The person that you, uh, that you um, specifically reference to, um, uh, much of, you have you seen much of these on the street anywhere about her? Uh, yeah, man. You have people who are like that, man. Oh, you, you are seen Care, yeah, them care themselves. But I, I think... Many of them, it's about the value system now. You yeah. understand? Because you have people who think it's, think it's okay to carry their pants really, really way below their waist and their other pants showing. I'm not, okay. I'm, I'm not amused by that at all. That amused, not even to them who are doing that, I don't think they're amused by it. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, it is so disgusting. I think it is. I really think it is. To, uh, to, uh, but um, to each is one them say. Yes, definitely. But, 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 uh, and every, but you're going to realize that every stick, every one of them stick a bush. And, and I did say I'm old-fashioned enough, so the younger persons might find it otherwise attractive, but nah. Well, the young people would think that we we, we, we find it attractive. Well, yeah, they, um, some of them need some guidance to do. Yeah, yes, and yeah, that's why you're a teacher, you know, because... Even with a bad child, you are, you are too happy to rehabilitate. Yes. So that's Challenging task, what we do. We do understand that we need to. Yes. In a relationship, you have to help your partner to rehabilitate. Because you may be very good in some other ways. Very good. And some other ways in delinquent. And yes. And as you said. You have to bring them up to standard. Right. And as you said, compromise. There are some things I will compromise. And that's why I didn't go through all the things on my list. <laughs> but I made mention of the ones that I thought. Because there are things that I'll say, okay, he might not have this, but I can work with him. And he might not have that. I can do this, but I'll work with him. But there are certain things that I will not compromise on, like the teeth. Sorry. Yes. No, but if he is willing to work towards it and to work with you too. Yes. Because and then and you go one and slap, you know. True. Two and clap. Yes. Yeah, but, but I mean, you have to maintain a standard. That's right. But but much of the people um, with with the, with the, with the attributes. Yes. The attributes they have to watch that and the ambition. If they have ambition. True, true. They, they won't do a respect themselves or respect because they won't do the opposite. So. Real talk. You don't have much to worry about. I know, right? Make it easy and blessings. Yes, sir. All the best. I keep listening. All right, my darling. Thanks for calling. Yes, a youth. All right. Lisa in Atlanta is, is, is with us. That's good. Miss Gregory says, Lady Cleo, good night to you all. You know why Daddy Rude I give so much trouble? And because he asks, clap him often enough. I know. Oh. I know, right? <laughs> like, he's going to get three right now for being such a oh. prick tonight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know, right? I know. They tell me. Listen, man. <laughs> no, man, I'm heavier now than before, my girl. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my discussion earlier in the show. Ma you know? <laughs> Marvin says, because it feels good when she had danced on the pool, even though it's a risk. Laugh out loud. Lord have mercy. <laughs> you want track minded men. Lisa says, oh, my God, is he there? Yes, Lisa. Oh, my God, he's here. <laughs> Lisa, change that DP, you know, please. <laughs> let's, let's. I know what I said, please. Let's see what's, um, what, go back to the Vox spot, please, Cassidy. All right. So um, we have our standards. You have your standards. I have mine. And the value systems. And the question is, are you willing to compromise or give up any of them in order to enter into a relationship or fulfill a lustful desire? So, you know, if it is that you're saying, boy, I don't want a woman 
If the woman, if the woman's feet <laughs> smelly, me not find her attractive. Yo, if I hold on a man, if I toes them ugly, you know, I don't find her this attractive. That one day, me guilty of the one there already. Go on talk. If it is that is something that you don't find yourself being intrigued by at all, would you be willing to compromise if you see where a boy her face look good? Are down there, so I can't own a pretty. pretty. <laughs> and she has nice personality. Yeah. You know, caring kind of woman, loving, um, she up nice Listen. and all these things. Nice complexion. Would you be willing to give up and say, you know what? You can somebody. put the smelly feet thing aside still and work with her because everything else so far, me into it. Yeah, me like. That's what we're really asking. Are you willing to compromise anything that you all right, all would right, want? All right, hold on, hold on. Listen now. It's the way you just described a while ago. Uh-huh. Take out the relationship part and go into the part of fulfill lustful desire. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. I, 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 would, I would wave, wave. You would wave, wave the to- smelly feet. Totally different thing from compromise. I would oh. wave. Oh, Jesus. Have a waiver. Just because I think it's pretty. No, <laughs> you don't know yet. Right? But it is to fulfill the lustful desire. Right? So I've been so, I've I've definitely been in a situation with a smelly foot something there. Oh Jesus. Straight up. I've been in You men are disgusting. No, we are not. So we're you're not. saying you can't stand a woman with smelly feet. Well, but not, you would no, wave no, no, that no, 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 and just no, hold no. your breath off as often as you can. I, I did not say just to fulfill the lustful desire no, of being I, with I, her. No, me never if I said me can't stand a woman. That's that's a very no, no, strong no, 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 hold on. Right? I didn't say that. I said you can't stand a the woman, feet. Okay, a woman the with feet. feet. Right. Well what I'm saying, well, I know, what I'm saying is that as a standard, you wouldn't want to date a woman who has smelly feet. How you want? Right. How you want gonna be do that? Oh, 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 what a piece of catastrophe. Which is why I said, well, I don't remember that initially when you see the person, you see yo, that girl uh, look away, attractive yeah. to your to, to lustful desire. But when you see her to them, you say no, sir. No, no, when you see her to when 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 the boat take her. No, me, when you me, see me, them and you smell them. No, remember say no. I two things. You, know, you have some you have some people in general. Once they go out in your vehicle, they take off all them boat because the boat at and day. They I, want, I really can't drive in the shoes either. They, they, they want to free up. Yeah. You see me? So a little sweaty, sweaty, and it might rise up. You know what I mean? You, you don't know the vibes already. I said, John, you know, because I bomb your crack all the window. I make a little fresh air blowing and thing. <laughs> <laughs> you see me? And, you so, know, naturally, you, you do what you have to do. Would you compromise if it is that a woman's body odor is not where, it, where you think it ought to be? Because... It's well, a reality. Well, it's a real talk well, that there well, are well, some well, women well, 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 who carry strong, well, very strong well, odor. Well, been there, done that. And did right? you compromise it? Of, or you waved it well, again? Wave. To, to fulfill a lustful desire. Men, <laughs> on a serious note, women, I want to hear see, from the women. There's a difference between we and, and it we I explained to you earlier. So really, right? actually, you, know, you have... There's a difference between... There will be no standard, really. There's, there's a difference with what we are willing... To give up. To give up. For the nookie. And sacrifice. For the nookie. Right? For a great life experience. But how would you have known what the experience is going to be like? They're not, they're not that. You know, I know. Listen. Jesus. Just like when a man go get a job. If, if you don't get no work or you'll gain experience. Oh, Lord. Call her on the four, We could five, have this at sugar tonight and I tell you if me never go there. Call her on the four, five, three. <laughs> Welcome to Real Talk. Why daddy rude your stomach strong? <laughs> oh, Jesus, man. Tell you, boy. The things hey, men will do. When you're a young boy, you know. You know what's so, up. Why daddy rude your <laughs> stomach strong? You man, know, you. you know, Donald. <laughs> Where's the crocodile stomach? It's, it's, it's a real talk. I've Run. heard men tell women <laughs> what they want to do with them. No, I'm not getting this. Sir. Hold on, man. I'm not saying you. Oh. I've heard men tell women what they want to do with them in the moment, right there and then. They don't know if don't they clean. They don't know if they need beard this morning or whatever. And they'll just tell you. And I've heard women say that men will say, oh, they prefer it that way. No, good God. What could be in that for you to find tasty and attractive at that point in time. Tell me now. 
Me can't tell you something straight, see? It's crazy. I have been there, done that, all my nothing. But one night, I said to her, I said, what does this car come from you, man? <laughs> what with that, man? Man. Well, I'm going to get that clean up and them things. That other road, I couldn't grab that stuff. Yeah, I was like, can my stomach that that's strong? Is it? <laughs> Why you don't smell good? And you don't carry yourself good? Me nah play them jokes there with you. And that's what I just because said earlier. You see, the, the skin to skin thing, we love it in a man. But it's also very, very dangerous. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So you better you better your kids from something from a clean something. Or you better your kids something from something clean, more than kids something from something where look dirty. Mm. So from it dirty man are good and from it not smell good man are good. Mm. Yeah, so I'm like so, no, so no matter how attractive she looks physically yeah. the moment you're saying an odor for example comes off it's a turn off a complete turn off so you'd compromise the smelly feet for example or the chaka chaka toes or whatever one time i worked on carnival cruise line and i look a person that like me she looked good real good and when we head to the cabin i reach the cabin i said baby sit right there and when we look she take off on her foot and put in her closet. I run, me run out of her I run, me run out of her closet. I run, But Donald, couldn't you have, um, because she looked so good and maybe her personality was really nice, couldn't you have tried to see if you could find a way to assist? If you liked her so much, how about getting her something for her feet or suggesting what she could have gotten to, to, to get rid of that problem. Why do men think it's okay to just run away from a situation because, oh, you know, yeah. how about pro providing her or suggesting to her things that she could use to get the order away? Work yeah. with her. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your brain and your mind are for the at the right place. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. For your, for, for, for she, for this, hey, Daddy Ruth said, take off her shoes in her car. Yes, if she take off her shoes in her car and start it, yeah, that you have to wind down the window. <laughs> it start to look on her different kid of her. Oh, Jesus. You know what I'm going to do with the head of the head. You understand what I'm saying? Because if the foot then you didn't want them to be a bit powder, you couldn't chew some in her shoes. But maybe she can't smell it really, you know? Or maybe the man can't smell it if he's a, in a woman's case. Maybe he can't smell it. Or he's so immune to it now that he doesn't smell anything. Hey, you know, sometimes I tell some people some things and they might think I joke when we talk some things. But let me tell you something. This life is a real serious life. And it, with so much something I go around now and so much something. But back in our days when we were a little boy, 30, 40 years ago, you never used to hear about all of them things, yeah. True that, about. true that, true You understand? That. Never. Mm -hmm. So you used to, one night we turned down smart road, and when we turned down smart road, we have try to find something for the night, you know, me and my brother, now we have said, we have find something tonight, you know, we now go home till we find something. And when we look down smart road, we see someone, uh, what kind of wine I go down the road? And when we reach down there, Linda Wappy. I don't know if you never hear about Linda Wappy. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Uh, and I turn the turn, I run, hey, I run, yeah, me, yeah, me. I said, we know I'm not going tonight. Uh, you might run in a dopey, trust me. But if a woman not smell good, man, if she's not right, man, you have to run. Remember, I'm tell you. God, the life is, life is precious. And like I said, skin to skin is the best, the most loveliest. You understand? Is, is yeah, that why, though, is that why some men will readily give it up unprotected with a pretty, their quote-unquote pretty girl? Yeah, but they must give it up unprotected with a even shock little. You understand? And a quote-unquote pretty girl. Even shock little, my man just love unprotected sex. But, but you find that...
I think there are cases where the man, if he thinks she's pretty, then he'll readily give it up, want to give it up skin to skin more quickly than if she wasn't so pretty in his view. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you have to remember the man are hunters, you know. We hunt, you know. We go out for things, you know. So even if she's pretty, even if she's ugly, go, we are go for the food, you know. Oh. We go for the food. You understand? So once you go for the food and, and the food not right, some sort of something make the food not right. Mm -hmm. You have to run. Okay, sir. That is that that is rude chest. That is rude. That is rude. Respect him in chest eye. Chest eye. All right, Oh, God. Respect. Big up on the All right, Donald. Yeah. <laughs> but clear. More want to show your vibes, you know? mm -hmm. This With this standard thing, and I made a try to get that earlier. When there are a lot of women out there who set a particular standard of a man that they would consider to themselves as being ideal, you find that in many instances, that woman is also a single woman. Not necessarily. That's why I use the word in many instances. Not many either. So. Right? And I am not certain if they have thought to themselves themselves that the possibility for them being single is because their ideal is also a turn off to men who who would have would have probably fit that criteria. In other words, A lot of persons are comfortable being single. Subconsciously, you start to create reasons why you are single, not recognizing it is an excuse for what is possibly a fault of yourself. Mm -hmm. You know that a lot of people who live a single life too long they have forgotten how to share that space. Mm -hmm. And everything, when it, and everything, whenever they have company, becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. Now, there are quite a bit of women out there who I know, and a lot, of, and lot more out there that I don't know, have the very similar standard of a person, a male, of whom they would consider to be the right fit. And, 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 a lot of whom they have described. I have a lot of friends who fit that criteria. And I can tell you straight up, in having the conversation with them, I would not, for the life of me, enter into not even a lustful <laughs> Relationship with them. No, because, but they are women. because, give me a second. Because, you got a second. Because their ideal by itself turns me off. It so, so me you're know, saying they shouldn't have any ideals. So what you're saying? It, it makes me know. Well, no, no, no. Let me ask, I'm trying to figure and out. And I just answered you no. It makes me know instantly that they, what me would have considered, to be problem woman them. But you have not everybody right? who has an ideal turn, is a problematic them, person. Them turn me there off. are some ideals that rule that are them unrealistic. And there are those that are realistic. Listen. I'm not talking about somebody who is so high flown and high society minded that all she thinks about is just somebody who have, is have, have from you, the have, quote unquote have, movies. Have you, have you ever heard about have, have you ever heard this statement made by women? Um all the good ones are already taken. I've heard that. You heard that. And there's some truth to it. To it's an a rubbish excuse. Oh please. Rubbish. In many cases, right? The si well, on a, well on a, in many cases, the, I, the good man is within the circle that they are. But them only see the man when the next woman have them and a relationship are going good. Because, <laughs> oh because they, they have not 
been willing to compromise any of them standard by, by, by finding out, oh. by finding out if this person, if this person who is within arm's length, who is, who is, who is, who live across the street, who whatever. So are men willing to do the same thing for a woman? You, you, are the men you don't hear, willing? You don't hear some have crocodile stomach. No, no, no. Eh? no. You don't hear some, if men no, have no. crocodile stomach. For the lustful <laughs> desire. I'm talking about for a relationship. <laughs> Hold now. on. Yeah, we'll get to that. It is now a minute after 11, ladies call and gentlemen. Please call us back after the break. Please. It's a minute uh, after <laughs> after 11. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. <laughs> yeah. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Light. We'll soon forward. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at Eight nine three two two six six. Planning a party? Club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your market. Marketing dollar. Here's your prince just touched down in at the airport. A royal day to everyone. It's showing you with the voice of DJ Prince. Your royalty of music selection. Represented for my show, your show, Detour. Every Saturday night from 8 p.m. to 12 midnight. With mixed moves and attitudes. And ladies, don't forget the special Detour hour from 11 to 12 midnight. Styles FM, the world listens. You just gotta tune in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For complete auto repairs and services, come to Akon Auto Technology, located at 33 Bombo Crescent, Port Antonio, Jamaica. We offer specialist services in wheel alignment and wheel balancing, brake drum and disc rotary servicing, state-of-the-art ultrasonic cleaning and testing of your fuel injectors. We also stock an assorted range of auto service parts, tires and motorcraft batteries. If we don't have it, we will source it for you. Call us at 876-715-5205. Or email AconAutoTech16 at gmail.com. Acon Auto Technology, beyond the typical auto mechanic shop. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Right now, one of the British Amir says when Sunday evening come, a one place my ears tune in and pass Kyle Lefem from 8 to 12 a.m. I want to know what's Sunday paper rain. I see an representative of the best and I talk back from 80s and 90s. Early 2000s, I'm going to know what's all right. I don't want nobody bad at me. Right now, it's going to disturb me. Red blood. Native audio stage and lighting. Now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to the show, guys. No, yeah, for, no. We're well going to go back to it. We're going to yeah. go back to it. Yeah, car. Um, The Fox Pop 
everyone has their own established standards and value system. Are yeah. you willing to compromise or give up any of them in order to enter into a relationship or to fulfill a lustful desire for someone? Most men would give up to, just for the lust, lustful desire part, but not for the relationship <laughs> part. Why are men so quick, more quick or ready to have unprotected sex with a so-called pretty girl? Yeah? Hmm. They'll give up some things. Yeah, like, I use a condom. I got to use a condom, girl. I'm not going without it. But the moment they come across what they see as a pretty girl, all that goes through the window. Why? Tell us why. You think burst. Uh-huh, yeah. Why physical, what physical attribute um, of a person would be a huge turn off from finding him or her attractive? Um, Deron, is it Deron? Go yeah. back to the Vox Pop. Deron made a comment. From New York City. Based on what we and I I agree said with about, him. you know, teaching 200%. her. 200%. Teaching her how to clean up. And I'm glad he said that. You teach them to be hygienic, he says. And then the next man get her when you put her on a level. Yeah. I think that's something a woman should learn to do for herself, bro. Yes. Yeah. In the same way, bro, I think <laughs> it is for a man to do that for himself too. No woman should be teaching a man to be hygienic. Because the same way she going to fix him up on a level and then a ma- another woman come and take him and snatch him. Same way, and him gone. So if it goes, you know, it's good so for well, the well, goose. Well, 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 you know what I'm saying? Enough of the time, I know we go. We not, enough of the time, you know. Whatever. Enough of the time, I know we go. No, it's what? You were taken. I own the left. Oh, Jesus. Because we will live stay. Oh, yeah, right. On the left. Yeah. No for the time give us, w- when give us relationship. No for the time when relationship mash up. I know the man left. Some of those men who you going to pick up. Some of those men who you pick up, up yeah, ladies man. are problem just as all some women are problem. Simple. Listen. Problem and cross. Go and share this with the listeners them. I've had experience where meeting knowing sisters when we reason with. Right? And when them describe the type of man what them want. As I said before, me have brethren that fit those criteria. I may even consider myself as an eligible person, but just not available. However, when you talk about women we have them own things, when I say own things, we mean the things them where most persons would want for themselves. Right? House, vehicle, good job, intelligent, stuff like that. But in reasoning further and further, I realize there's a problem woman them. <laughs> no for them a problem woman them because problem in your life. First and foremost, they're going to walk and run your life too. Big turn off. Because Cassidy, them use so much by um, being independent. You can't talk to them, the woman there. They won't come to this wife come out of them house. Right? Them not going to want to wave certain standards and compromise certain things. Because them feel say boy, everything else, anytime, anytime them want them can run you out of them yard. If I want them, I can't say with enough woman. Then quick I think run a man out of them yard and a man run a woman out of out of them yard. Straight up. No, I can't show you this. Many times when there are certain standards where women have a matter about, it, especially the single woman them, looking on herself. That's why some of them never all can get all a youth. And I tell enough of my friend them to my wife bond me out big time. I said, my girl, let me tell you this. You see the standard way, the standard way you have. You try to wave that standard there, you know. Because your mommy wants a grand picnic, you know. No, I, so I, if it means say, there... if it means say, if it means say, I've got to borrow somebody something, you know. Some of the millions of things that we are swimmers, you, you know. You make it sound as if every woman was a standard. Right. I, I no, I mean, it was every. No, that's how you're making it sound. But I said that some. Every I'm talking about the one that we know. Who have a standard. The one that we know. Because they have a standard, <laughs> then they're the ones who are lonely. They're the ones who are single. Yeah, man. They're the ones. Not every woman yeah, is man. experiencing that. My girl. I am not lonely. I am not single. And I have a standard in teeth them for clean. My girl, your at Gala Road. And them finger them for look proper. Listen, your at Gala Road. And Zane. if you care him for look. Well, on a man, well, on a man, listen what I said to you. Go do a pedicure. Well, no. Yeah, at Gala Road. Every now and again, get a pedicure. Yeah, street know. smart girl. 
Zayn. So nobody put yourself over no, this. No, but so. I'm speaking right? for the average female. No. You're making it look as if. No. You're making it look no. as if. No, I talk about the minority. N well, you, you didn't say that. No, they didn't say, oh, me know no, my girl. first of all, when I made mention of the standards. The minority matter. All right. And then you, you, you hasten I, to say, all right, let me the women who have the standards, that's why they are single. Let me share something with you. Because they're distant, because they're well, not. Let, 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 let me share something with you. Do you believe that we were made to coexist? You believe, you to an like extent. We, we were made to coexist. To an extent. Do you believe that we were created to live in union? To some extent too, yeah. So do you believe that persons who opt not to be within a union is going against a natural biological... I want to think so. You want to think so? Yeah. And there's a possibility that internally there's a psychological condition going on there that even they themselves have failed to recognize. Possibly, yeah. All right. So what is wrong with the statement that I've made when I say the standard that they have set, right? So well, well, give, give me, give me a, make give me a, a give me standard which is unrealistic that they would. Hold on. Some of them is not only unrealistic. Some of them are realistic. But just like where the brethren did, um, did say, how many persons within the space that we exist, those standards are physically achievable within the space. Have they thought to have moved to move out of that space and go elsewhere then to seek at that person in order to fulfill possibly what, we, what, what, we, have made, what, what we have been don't. made to be here for? Some if we were do, made but some to don't. be in union. Right? So, they, so, so then, those of them, and everyone we have one bridge with, especially a sister, we have them the standard, they say, oh, right? This is a type of person, this is a type of man, yeah? me don't want a man like that, that the man always check me out, but them the type of man that is, and boy, that, and them find all the faults with all that exists within reach. All the faults that, that are there. Yes, so and, it's for but, them to leave but that. Yet still, but, but, but yet still, when them friend is in a relationship, or somebody where they don't know in a relationship, then they, 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 there's somewhat some amount of admiration that all the good ones are taken. But that taken good one was also single. But you with your son never even thought to give him the time of day because you've been finding false and false and false and, and I'm false not and false. I was speaking to those women. I was never speaking to those women to begin with. Yeah? But they do exist. Uh, yes, they do. So and I'm aware with, of that, that there are with women. Me now. I am aware. You are agreeing with me now? I didn't nothing to agree with. I am aware from before now that there are so. those women who are who, who they put their standards as a place where they themselves don't fit there either. They don't even probably deserve that. They want it, but they have not set but themselves. But they themselves to not deserve the, that the type of man. Yes, I know that. Right, right. You that's know not that. what I'm talking and about. And I said that earlier. You all misconstrued the whole point hey, from earlier. Cassidy, more, 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 more you're fine about the listener where, where, where I hate to blow off. I mean, no, I said that, I say. Find back, find back that, find oh back that one there. Boy. Come on, ask her why. Go on up, go on up, go on up, go on up. I go on up. am aware go on up. that there are Sonia. women. Sonia. Sonia, head to bus. I am aware. Bus off. I mean, no, say that, I say that, make Sonia head to bus off, you know. Put us, why? You head to bus off. A reality, me attack. Oh. You know, the boss, it say, what say, this is a real, get her keep it real. All right. So, as he just alluded, that there are women who X, Y, and Z. Oh, well, Lisa gone. We get the point. Lisa, and I'm just Lisa, Lisa Run gone saying, already. You see? I am never. Anytime the never, kitchen get at Lisa Run. Anytime the kitchen get at. I was never referring to the women who put their hats where they can't reach. Yeah, put it that way. I'm not, I'm not talking about those ladies. I really don't have the time to talk about those ladies. I am just saying that we as women need to have standards and set them in such a way where you yourself fit a certain standard too. Have you ever Ain't had to have you, you, you ever compromise any one of your standards them then I in have. a to be in a relationship? I have. Yeah. Right. 
And uh, other part of life, that's why I say you Broke. can't. That's Don't why have I'm, the money. That's why I say you can't put and yourself I, you in other thing. Come, you know, say you're a street girl. You got you, you, you know how to uh, and you know how to turn your hand make fashion. While it is that you'd have preferred you just a tush. better financial standing, and that wasn't there. The relationship went on. Right. Without thinking, oh, I want somebody who I want for money and drive a big car. No, I, was, I was never even oriented, oriented, orientated in that kind of way anyway. So, Same. you know, there have been compromises. There have been. Trust me. Eh, I can't even talk about. But um, compromising, and it wasn't for... I don't, I, I don't find where it would have been a lustful desire so much. It would have been more for a relationship. relationship. Yeah, yeah. And I think that some women would more tend to I mean, compromise for that. Are we at that? Yeah, oh no. Are no, we no. at that? Oh no. <laughs> but I still want to know, Cassidy, what would you give up though? What would you say, boy, this is what I want from a woman or to see in a woman, but if she not have this particular thing, me can't work with it. Me, me go and compromise. Is there anything that you would compromise? She has to be. She, she, you want somebody who can manage when you're not when you're down financially. But if she not the money, she really not have the money. She not work. Would you compromise that to be with her? Don't look at me like that, Cassidy. <laughs> Do not look at me like that, oh, Cassidy. Lord. She not working. She not have no money. She poor. She paparazzing like myself here. Would you compromise to be with her because you think, boy, there's something special about her, one kind of way? Oh, she made the dumpling. Use them two fingers. Our stupid tastes good. It's a fair word. It's a fair word. Why? Right, no, t- you t- meet a woman who is good, her qualities are good, her personality is good. She caring and loving and take care of you. And because she don't have no work, you're going to reject her because she, <laughs> she don't work my youth. Oh, you put the things up clear. Been there. Been there. And never work Experience out. Experience teaches wisdom. So tell me something now. Me now? Yeah. <laughs> so. Your meat are, mm. she cooks very well. Mm. It's like one of the best tasting food you could have ever eat. Mm. You say, yo, star, the woman is clean, you know. She can't cook. She can't wash. But guess what, man? She can't manage the thing. She can't make me feel all the excuses make, make I feel, star. Mm. Would you compromise and try to teach her the ropes in the dancing world? And accept her for what she can do otherwise, would you compromise the fact that she's not the greatest performer? Mm. She can't dance so well at all. Would you compromise that? If her head not tough. <laughs> <laughs> Is that she can she easy for learn? Yeah man, but we can't learn, man. So Cassidy, she not very book smart. She but you know, when it comes to domesticated, oh my God, man. Nobody like her. She manages herself well around the house. But you find that to sit down and have a conversation about the weather is very difficult. Would you compromise that? Because you'd have wanted somebody, I'm sure, who is relatively okay intellectually, where you, know, you can reason. But when you watch on the news and you can have a discussion about something up on the news and what you think and what, what, what's your suggestion and if a business idea you can go to her and say, boy, babes, this is what I have as an idea, you know, what you think about it. And, but this particular person, no, you can't go on the road there with her. Really. You'd compromise that for everything else. Dancing proper. Turn up. Oh, Lord. Yeah, man, me know. <laughs> Dancing good. Cooking, cleaning, you're well-fed. You're pampered, you know. She caters to you. But reasoning with her is a no-no. You have to just cut and go. Just on a regular day, ordinary day, not try have no conversation, like, to a certain level with her. Can you work with that? You can comp- can compromise that? I want the hard. Are you a cat? Where you say, man, you? Me? You talk up. No, me, me, simple thing, you know. I'm going to say, Cassie, you know, make me swap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> swap. Take my one cast and give it for you. <laughs> compromise. She has several children. Mm. And she needs assistance with them. Mm. Because the fathers are gone. Right. What do you mean no? Alright, stop. What do you right mean there, no, 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 Stop right there, sir. Stop right there. Can't compromise that? Hold on, stop right there, sir. Straight up. Zane. Yeah. 
I don't go there, sir. So why should I take up you, you with your children well, then? Not, uh, 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 listen, and, and you can't take up you with your children then? Mm -hmm. Listen, Zane. Mm -hmm. I don't go there, sir. Why not? But, listen this key name. Mm -hmm. You see, because my experience, I have fathered, in my opinion, are contributed mm -hmm. to many that aren't mine. Yes. You would adopt some of hers? Indirect adoption. Okay. Right? Once, once we can see, say, well, you know, with the kids, them and there's a need. So no relationship? No, it wouldn't, no. No lustful desire being, com no. be, be, being been, achieved? No. Be, been there, no. Okay. No. Been there and still in there. Right now, right, right, right now, I have, have a big daughter. Mm -hmm. A you take she there right now. Oh, cool. That's so, what I say. So, me know that experience, right? There, so, I have a next little you now where I hope that so he can reach to that level. I kind of worry about him because I'm environment. You see me? So, all for that, man. I have me, me, all for little kids, kids, we, we come like a family you them. So, you see me? So, so, so that part there, that part of the relationship part, Mm -hmm. Me, I go end up I even like all the people more than like all the mama. So that that that, that dead right there, so dead right there, so dead 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 dead. Friday go there, Friday go there, so he, he, he not a chance with me. She comes from a quote unquote big yard situation. None tall. Hold on a man. Me said none tall. <laughs> none tall. No go no further Cassidy. with me. Ask Cassidy that Cassidy. one. Day. Cassidy, you can't take that one. I'm not one to swap. Big yards. <laughs> she, she is no fault of hers. She grew up in that environment. And everything that you find that you discuss, it's taken back to big yard. <laughs> what do you mean no? The girl, good looking. She's sexy. She pretty. She hot. Hey. Cleo. Me go, she me, got it going well, on. Let me, me go simpler than that. Me, me go simpler than that, right? Uh -huh. You want know a reason why me rate moms? Yeah. From early out, the relationship is ours. Okay. Right? It not involve nobody else. Yeah. I'm showing you here, I said this already. The wedding day, at the second time that me I see my mother-in-law. <laughs> the wedding day. Right? Me uh, don't know my mother-in-law. I just say, because the relationship and me. And she? Yeah. No, me know of situation where brethren and brethren and brethren and brethren come like then there with the mama, then there with the sister. <laughs> right? <laughs> and you know what I'm born up? I don't want to say what well, say good I did with. <laughs> Right? <laughs> and you know, LT. Because when certain decisions I make and certain money are request. Oh, Lord. It's a request on behalf of mm -hmm. the woman, mother we have a need, or the woman, sister we have a need, who we have all a man. If you take on the, 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 the cow, take on right? the calf too. I know the, I know the calf that, 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 that the whole herd. Yes, take on the whole herd. The farm. Take on the whole farm. Right? So, them the situation there. You never know, forgot a big yard. Just talk about one regular family setting. <laughs> where the pit in well, their clothes. Where well, grew up in Cassidy. You can imagine. You're going to a family, you're you're going to family, family setting. You hey. take on the girl. The family is now your own. Not talk about girl. Me know a situation where the, <laughs> where the boy picnic. To all their raised. To all the family tight knitted. Right? When certain things we discuss. The man has said. Man has said. I'm going to talk to. In family, you talk to your mother. I'm going to hear sister for your say. Okay. What are you doing at that? What you are doing at that? None tall. Rachel is right. Not all women are going to have a job. None tall. Not, Not tall. all women. Not all women are going to have a job. And, and, and there can be a point exactly. to where, where, so, where, 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 the woman have a, where the woman have a job. Exactly. So what do you do? Reject her because she has no job and she's a good woman otherwise in terms of how she takes care of the children, you know, how she, she, she treats the home, how me, she me makes me, the house me, me, like me, a me, home. Me, me, me she's not miserable. She's good to go. Hey, no, gee, hey, You're not going to work with her wait, because she's not a job. For. Me no want no miserable woman. So you're more compromised the one who not, is not working for the miserable one. No, working is not is not like say a criteria when me okay. would, would have that done as a boy she affi. Okay. That is not a criteria. You know, th there are certain things to me where if me if if me can afford. Yes. Right? And to my to to my 
what do I call it now? How I am, me more fit organize a business mm -hmm. when me think she would be capable, capable of doing of being, smart. Right. You're See? a smart man. There. So that part of the mood don't worry about that. If it means I've got to set up one shop across the road. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, moms, fine. run this. Okay, right? fair enough. We could organize and, 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 and we go a wholesale at Kingston and wherever and we stock shop and okay. we say, run this moms. Oh, good. See? Good. So that, me not worry about that part there. What if she can't cook? None she, at all cannot cook. If she can't cook. If I call her she on the She got a problem. <laughs> she got a problem. Call her on the four problem, five three. She got a problem. Welcome to Real Talk. What would you compromise? So many people want to see me. Stop <laughs> loving you. All right. Right, <laughs> yeah. Right, right. What's general? Right now, I'm the sky. I'm the ball on my high. Right, yeah. When I go to the street, I'm the girl. I'm a spy. Told me I tell her yeah. I'm not telling a lie. Yes, right, yeah. As usual. <laughs> tell me something. What would you give up? To be with a girl, what would you compromise? What about her? You would say, Cho, me not like this, you know, but me, me work with it. Repeat. What would you give up to be with a girl, to be in a relationship with a girl? See, you know, one, no pretty boy. Or be in a compromising position with her to get something from her. What would you give up? Uh, all right. I will if I think I'm going to give up. Mm. Yeah. So she not African cook? Eh? She not African cook if you, if you be with her? She not African cook? You can't African cook, man. You say, man? If you, if you meet a girl and she can't cook, you're, you're, okay, you're not okay with that? You leave her alone? Yes, man. You can't cook. How you say, man? Yeah, man. Oh. Yeah. But what is she? Yeah, tell me. And if she not vibes in the bed? Eh-eh. Uh -huh. Oh, you can't tell me. You can't tell me. You get the fever. Okay, the paper, can't listen to the radio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you say she's not vibes on the bed, can't... Do the puppy tail? Jesus. And the spider wine. You understand me? Yes, yes. And the one jump. Yes. And the puppy pan a string. Yes. You understand me? You have to find out. You can't play like a dollar coin. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's all, man. So if that not, not if that if sh, it, 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 there's no good dancing, just pure daddy daddy, you not work with that. No. But the woman can cook and clean and take care of you otherwise. Why you can't help her out in that department? No, man. We have to man. Um, the part the man we have to man. She have to be all inclusive, you know. Oh, beg your pardon. All inclusive, man. You know the other day me fuck up a little girl from the room, but you see me? Mm hmm. I mean, I carry her and from point A to point B. She called me whenever time she won't go anywhere, you know? Mm-hmm. One man, I wake up and I want to take from my phone there. She look on three grand for borrow. Yes. So I said, my girl, you see, 2020, right there now. Mm-hmm. The body can't get the money for borrow from me for 2019. I worry for money on the people borrow, you understand me? Yeah, and then I give you back. And I give me back, so you see, right there now, they stop letting money, my girl. So, but they just, just send all the thing and just say it's free, and I call you a dear. Jesus of mercy. <laughs> you understand me? Eh? Yeah. So, she said, all right. She will work with that. So, she said, all right, tell her friend, come back again at the night. Mm hmm. Come back again at the night, we go pick her up. She said, where we are going, Mr. You can't come from my business or my woman to from my business. Mm -hmm. you so you want me to do now? It's like, I look up place where I go, where you, know, you look up. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Uh, I want to go five hours stop. Yes, I. And you may pay one fifteen bills. Mm -hmm. So I go in the room now and I take all of the lady where we rent the room and I say, how much money? I want to go three hours. You understand me? Mm -hmm. It's a fifteen bills. So I push all the 15 bills and we go in the room, you know? I go in the room now. I put my go in the bathroom and I go with the go with fresh, you know? Yes. So, so I see the girl out there jumping out of the bed and she get one rug and she make two wipes, you know? <laughs> That's great. Yes, yes, right, yeah. She make two wipes, I'm here. 
don't know what I'm about, my girl. She said, this book when I use, she can't use it for when she go home, the man will lose the boy. Oh. Uh, that, uh, uh, that smell uh, she, she, she left yard with. Yes. So I said, she can't. So I said, I'm going to buy one soap. Where you, you use a yard? Yes. She said, no, no, time for that. Lord Jesus. Uh-uh. So, so then, Father. my girl, where you So, I say, all right, you want me now? Call you the banana then, no? Eh-eh. Hello? Bright Jai? All right, you are welcome to the brew. 11-21 ladies. Bright Jai. Bright Jai. Bright Jai. After the break, Bright Eye. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital tea. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Come, Styles FM. Digital tea. Our brain. Uh-huh. Magic, you know what I just realized? How come fear shop always full and you can barely count the amount of people who come in a Fimi shop? Then you know see fear shop get international. A Styles FM she a mind our business with. Styles FM fit you? Yes, a time you mind your business. Same like how she a mind our business and a sponsor one show past Styles FM. I say you fit mind your business and take out one package and sponsor one of their show too. She a get ads, she a get mentions, her business I get chat about. I want to you, mind your business. Yes, that's right. You can sponsor a program on Styles FM. Starting as low as $4,000 per month. Conditions apply. Contact us today at 876-993-3358 or 876-518-2399. Styles FM, get your business out there. Mind your funky business. Mind your funky business. Leave me alone. When it's me, leave me alone. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car? or having a garage sale then come see us let styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160 advertising style advertise with styles get your saturday morning start to the right way it's all about the jump start with chungy the chinaman on your radio from 6 a.m to 9 a.m it's all about five from the start to the finish we're boring a go that get diminished so whether you're home on the road on a bus or drive taxi then come listen to jump start on styles fm we cover the globe like oxygen jump start saturdays 6 to 9 a.m that's at the time anything else me leave out Cho. never mind Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Rail Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back, guys. Yeah. No, I did not. Rochelle said, what a man doing with a woman that can't cook? Simple. Read Rochelle, what, read you could teach her to read cook, Read what you know. Sadie said. Sadie says, me don't want no pretty man around me. That prettiness must be a hard-working man who will work along... Is that along or alone? Work alongside me. 50, 50. That me a t- 
talk about pretty man and lazy me not upon that none talk um and i do agree with you um and right if, now, I, I remember say from last week i went from what since week i said they asked for the future and tickets so the man better start work from now <laughs> and of course and then, of course, again, pretty is in the eyes of the builder too, because if if you work in a construction site and him pretty to her, then him just pretty, yeah. And him, I'm him hot because she loves when him just get dirty and get sweaty and, huh? Yeah, man. Some women love that. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. Good night. Five eight three. Send us the name so we can attach the name, please. All right. So we invite Bright here to tell us the rest of that story tonight. So Bright here, please. We want to hear the rest of how much of a compromise you compromised your standards to be with that girl because she wanted three grand, and you tell her, uh, uh-uh, uh, no loan around here. You gotta work it off, and you agreed to it. Two consenting adults. You agreed to working it off. You went to see her. You had a shower. She chose not to. And I would love to know if you the same three granny were going to use to pay her. If it's it you use 1500 $1, out of to pay for that room. Because knowing bright here, yeah, that would be part of the math. <laughs> Let's go back to the Vox Pop though, Cassidy. Uh, and see if bright here yeah, will call us back. All right, so part one, we spoke about compromising your standards. You, it's up to you to know if you'd compromise anything at all to be with somebody or to have a lustful desire. Sometimes when you do compromise on certain things and end up in the relationship, you end up being sorry. Sometimes, yeah? Part two, why are some men quick and ready to have unprotected sex with a so-called pretty girl? I don't know that, what you mean by that. Is it that... I don't know what you, no, 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 no. I don't know what you mean by that. Because, you know, it's a one-sided question. No, it's not. Right? And I'm me, asking me, me men. Know, you all find... right. What, 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 what I've heard yes. men say, which me still are trying to figure out what they mean by that. Two things. Mm-hmm. My youth, she clean. Oh. Right? Yeah. So no part time clean are the skin, or skin or clean, mm -hmm. or she not have no odor. Okay. And that make a whole man feel comfortable. Really. To make that wrong risk. Okay. So me. So again, this quote unquote brown pretty skin. It fall in the same category. Okay. Right. So Look men are covered clean. by those things. Look clean. It is, it, it is a wrong way. Right? Because it doesn't... But, but he knows, me, 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 and me, and me, he knows me, it's wrong, no? Then the most don't say wrong. So, so my question is, I would love to understand from the is a Russian, weird is man's a, it, 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 perspective. It's a, a Russian roulette. Oh, it's a gamble now. Yeah, it's a gamble. Right? And a man just feel, quote-unquote, comfortable. Right? That because a girl is quote unquote pretty, and again, he thinks th she's clean. This are prettier where you are, where, where you are talking about. Her. This is mean, no different from where we would have described earlier. In yes, the show. yes, to an extent, right? Yeah. This are prettier is, is for argument's sake. You, 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 you see, one, one beauty queen, mm -hmm. you decide, say, boy, yo, you want piece of the beauty queen, and you, and, and, you go, and, you, and maybe at the time you never have nothing for you, or a man might say, yo, I have to feel what it feel like. Because if you so, not, so, because, because, because for some men, you know, if they not go without that, you know, you know, feel like they do nothing, you know. Right. Right. Me say, me say something the other day. Um, and it, it, it kind of relevance where, 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 where they must say having sex in condom is not sex. Really now? Because they must say if you wash your hand in, in a gloves, did you wash your hand? <laughs> it's not the same thing, man. Right. But so, that, but, so, but, but okay. that's what they're saying in, in terms of them I, thing. I know. I know of a situation where the man, when they got together to engage sexually, he, I don't think it was planned for, and... But how him knows that him clean? Hold on now. He didn't plan, oh, they didn't plan didn't. for that sexual encounter. Mm. But things got to a place where it was now leading to that. She would have, she wanted 
to engage in that kind of way. He objected because he's saying, look, I don't have the precaution and the protection that I would need, okay. so I am, I am not engaging. So is it, that, is, it that, is it that that decision would come with some level of maturity and experience? Uh, yes, of course. So the men who do, I, I would love to know, is, is it just that quest, the quest for, you want to sample something so badly, you, you desire it so much, you're lusting after it so much, that it clouds your good sense of judgment, that all you can see is, my need, my, my want, because All right. need. Here, 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 what we have to say regarding that now, to any brethren. <laughs> if you're in a situation like that where you know say, at any given time or if the opportunity presents itself, or you're going to create the opportunity to present itself, always have a precaution with you. Always have your, your protection. Because what might reach a brethren, you know, even you know if that is it's just the opportune time. Mm-hmm. And him don't know if it's going to happen again. Right. So he probably just decides, boy, he's going to just do him off do and run the Russian rally. And at the same time, if it is in the case I just explained where the woman wanted to, wouldn't that, that should be a turn off for a man. Oh, because yeah, man. you don't know Most if she has told anybody else the same thing. And, not and o- if she has and, gone. And, and not only that, if there is an agenda. Yeah, yeah. That too. So the men who are quick and ready to jump in, <laughs> dive in, head on, pun intended, <laughs> you got to be careful and stop and check whether she pretty or pretty not. Don't just say, oh, her skin clean and she light skin and she shape good and it's like her face just, woo, beautiful and just pretty stuff it's okay to to dive in you gotta be careful and i know that a lot of men sorry when they reach that place where that boy gets strong and firm they lose all sense of judgment proper reasoning and logical reasoning and they make some you know stupid say, decisions me here me here a big man big gun big man a couple of years ago his belief is that if you don't ejaculate inside of the woman, you can't catch HIV. Oh. And you want to know his rationale? What's that? Him say whenever you ejaculate, it also have a suction. So the ejaculate it mm-hmm. exits, and when it will ejaculate, more will come out, it's pulling. So he say it is that pulling it that draw in whatever oh. virus from the woman's body. From the woman's body. But the, I'm but telling you about the, one big man. But the vagina also does a suction thing um, up on ejaculation too, or let me not say that. Up on what do you call the woman the woman's release? What do you call that? Yeah, um, I don't or know if orgasm. they call orgasm. That's the word I wanted. Jesus. So, on upon orgasm, it is said that there is a suction thing that goes on from either party. So maybe his logic is logic is logical. I me I say man idiot. Maybe it is. Well. But at the same time too, prior to ejaculation, there is an exchange of body fluid. No, some amount of. You know, yeah, yeah, before that. Fluid yes. comes and, from and, the and, man and, 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 and said, from the woman But also, the, also the fluid exchange, the, once um, there's a wound or mm-hmm. semen from either party entering into the other party by whatever means, pours anything, mm-hmm. then you, possibility. You, 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 possibility of any form of STD, oh, wow. STI, whichever, you know. But it's, it, it's, a, it's a ridiculous thought mm. re- regarding, regarding this pretty woman and, and, yeah. and thing business. You know, that just... Crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. crazy. Whole heap of pretty girl out there. No pretty girl. So I saw you see a pretty girl, you're going to decide, boy, you're going to go beer. Beer. Oh, crazy. And, and, and that is what probably has caused some of what spreads to spread. But Keela, Keela look like only a baby, you know. Keela, you know, she's there in bed. Keela, I remember the show, it's for adults only, you know. Yeah. Ki, Kiela, Kiala, I don't know what her name is. 
All right, adults only, please. Make sure you're an adult. All right, um, let's go to the other part of the... Good night, Lady Cleo. Oh, at least never week. Bright, yeah, is a trip. Can I tell you? And a half. <laughs> Send us the name, though, 488. We need the name so we can attach it, all right? All right, let's see the rest of the Vox Pop, um, Cassidy. What physical attribute of a person would be a huge turn off from finding him or her attractive. So you see the face. The breath. And you're like, oh, nice. But when you go close, the breath. for example. The breath. So the breath would be a big turn off for you. Yeah, the breath. Bad breath. Yeah. But what if the person just never get to, never get to brush them teeth for a morning? Yeah, but listen. Sometimes teeth are teeth, you know. Eh. <laughs> 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 teeth are teeth. And, and, and let me just add, you know, um, flossing, for those who might not practice this, right. flossing is very, very important. important. Very important. I have spoken to persons and there's an order. In some instances, I've seen no people, strong, no people no, no some say, mild. And what you can try, when you floss, smell it. Trust me. You'll be surprised yeah. you know, when you floss, smell it. Flossing is so, so important because and, the brush and, cannot and, go and beyond can brush between too, those teeth. But also use a little mouthwash. Flossing you know? is very, very important. But the moment you floss and you smell nothing on that floss, you know that you're, you're in you, good you're stance. Good. But the moment not, you but, smell something, you keep flossing until yeah, that, because, that smell be, be, goes. Because whatever you eat during the daytime, you know, between the teeth, and it's also a break down. Break down, right. So, the, 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 chemical the, the, reaction taking right. place and all that. So, you're going to give off. Just like when you go to the bathroom to do number two, all the things you've eaten, the, 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 lov the lovely tasting food and smelling food that you had earlier, my After girl. it all breaks down, no, and you feel like we can't no, go the number two so often, no me I talk about. So when all those <laughs> chemicals combine, trust oh, me, like, that waste that, that comes from your body and that odor that it might give off, in a similar way when you eat all those food and that um, chemical process takes place, whatever is left between your teeth will give off that a similar kind of smell. Yeah, all right? But... The, the, so the, breath the, turns breath. you off. Yeah, man, the breath. But but here one now. What if she have big nose like me? There's also no nah, man. That's not a problem. You good? Man. I'm good man. And big eyes like me. I'm good man. Cassidy. But but, but here one now. Well, I know. Mhm. Mm we have to know if we differentiate, you know, because you have you have sinus when some person's sinus act up. There, there's a smell. It, I mean, read it up one time. Okay. Yeah. Um. Where. It, it just happens. There's nothing where them can do about that. Mm -hmm. See even except those praise of the sinus pass quick. Mm. Um, and I'm kind of find it strange in terms of from a scientific standpoint, we can uh, the science the scientists them can create so many things and them, them they are yet to oh. figure out a way how fi, 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 to to resolve. They are busy making diseases. <laughs> You know, to resolve that particular issue where a, 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 a lot of persons are conscious and also <laughs> equally a lot of persons are not conscious of mm -hmm. that order. Yeah. You know, where, where, but you have to be mindful and sensitive yeah. to an individual who experiencing that, you know, the difference in morning breath, sinus, mm -hmm. or somebody um, with, with, with a decaying. Mm -hmm. Or ginger, what do you call it? Gingivitis? Gingivitis or, you know, you, mm. you, you have to be sensitive to these things. I know, say, yo, here we know, brethren, sisters, you know, say, notice one, so on, so forth. You need to go check that out. Because, mm. and really and truly, some things are not for the dentist. True. Some things are not for the orthodontist. Uh, orthodontist, orthodontist, dentist, right? Yeah. And not for them. Some things is, a, is another medical situation. E, uh, ENT. Mm -hmm. Ear, nose, and throat specialists. Mm -hmm. You might have got a link up for that. So, we so have to be sensitive to, to, um, to some of these things. But for me, the turn off, right? This, uh, where would I really and truly, you know, make the boy dead? Mm. Let's see what Rochelle says. If you have bad breath, it's a no no for me. All Simple. right. Um, let's see I what Marvin says. I kid you not. My store manager is a female, and if you ever smell her mouth, Jesus wept <laughs> in her Moses shoes, and she claims she's a hot girl. Oh, yeah, Jesus. Man. And so, the thing is, you know, I don't, that, I don't think she probably she can smell her own breath. That's a problem. But right. there are people who can. There are people who can. Yeah, man, who can smell themselves. Yeah, you, you just have to be conscious. You, you, you see my daughter? Me teach her this. 
the first thing she does when she wake up in the morning, oh. wash her face, brush her teeth. Mm -hmm. Come on, right? Said, you're old school. And old school. <laughs> you're old school. <laughs> and, and after she have her breakfast, oh yes, she have to brush her teeth. Mm -hmm. Right? Teach her floss, all of them. Yeah, something. man. Real Those talk. things important. Because me, I remember when, when, when we are going to school as little people in infant school, primary school, mm -hmm. where you used to see the food that some of the people didn't eat. Mm -hmm. And you used, to, you used to laugh about it. But, but you know, and even you now... Are, and when you cuss them, you, are, you are tell them, boy, I left, I left that, I lick your teeth and your belly full. I've been on the road and seen children. Like, seriously, I wonder, how can a child between ages, say, 6 uh, to, to 12, yeah? Mm. How, if you have a parental guidance yeah how can that child's teeth look like butter like yeah. it's like I mean, no, layers of food i, I don't food, man. get it well at a certain time of the day forever yeah forever is extreme every day them stay seeing way stay seeing way no which i say at certain in the morning you don't expect that exactly right but Remember, I said they pick them get break and then get lunch. I'm not talking about right? that. I know that look there. That no. look that different. That look is different. I'm talking about layers of layers of layers of. I don't know, soul. Layers <laughs> of things just cake up. Kevin. And it's the Kevin. Sweet water. Daddy, Kevin, I don't know about that. <laughs> that rule I've ever heard about sweet water is moments before ejaculation. Oh, yeah, I say, Kevin. Okay. Okay, Kevin in the, Tampa, Florida. The term, the term, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard the term, though. I've heard I've the never term. heard the term. Um, let's see what's on, on the, 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 you know, but the in text ter line. In terms of green arm. You see, let me tell you, from the, from the get-go, smell. Green arm. Green arm not going to work out. Right? That's the one thing where, where, where really we we we're turn you off. Again, you have persons based off of them. Um, it's not poor hygiene. It's metabolism. And what they use, the person they use to doesn't work well with their body. Right. Um, hormones. Mm. Right. So these are certain things where you just have to be cognizant of, you know. Because me know of brethren who... When they want to say hot word about sisters, I that mm -hmm. them draw for. Oh. Not to them face. Mm -hmm. But all you know, the descriptive words. And me, I'm aware of it, where that individual or so individual is concerned. Mm -hmm. But then me also conscious of the hormone um circumstance. Mm -hmm. You know? So my mother has some moly, you know. <laughs> Straight up, you have some moly. <laughs> hey, you have some pill we're taking up. We'll make your moly, you know. And there are some, some antibiotics, pills, you know. Yeah, and but it doesn't last forever, that's the no, thing. But it so makes even sour. your urine, you smell it, you smell a pill itself in yeah. your urine when you urinate sometimes, and especially the anti antibiotics. And anti. See, so mm. you have to you have to know what I'm going before you really come to certain judgment and say, boy, John will start a person, that this other person, that that. Yeah. But when it comes down to 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 to, 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 to hygiene mm -hmm. is a is a key factor because meeting the person instantly, you 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 will see how them well you come to a conclusion. Tend to yeah have a good But have an if idea. you know them, you you will start to see if I somewhere it was just like a one off situation or a so I feel them own a how them practice because even the cheesy foot. Right? Mm -hmm. People often know, say, boy, if they have sweaty feet, you have to wear cotton socks. You can't wear nylon. Mm -hmm. so and certain and shoes, and 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 all that. Right. And, and you have to change your socks every day. Mm -hmm. You can't go wear what they said, socks. Deliver me. Right? So, if some people wear the same socks. And, and they know, and, Men and, wear the same and, socks and, over and, and over and again. And they know as yard man, especially yard man, no yard man now wear socks. <laughs> right? Just drop them foot in on them sneakers and gone. Oh right? boy. So you know that other part they go once you crack the boat. 
Well, let's see what the text line is saying quickly there. Um, Sadie says, if the man of Sinus is a no-no for me because means a romantic woman. Lord, <laughs> Lord, Sadie, no, mash up the Sinus, man, so, 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 so easily. Because, you know, Sinus just can affect anybody, really, and it doesn't affect everybody all the time, ye, but some. Yeah, ye, Rochelle, all right. You see, you can't put Read it what on, she says. On, on over your mouth and blow. But and blow to no, smell it. Sometime, you know, the, 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 the order, sometimes the order and never... And even all your breath and don't you know. I don't know if you're assisting you know, so in there. So you're cousin. Two times you. You know I smell nothing. Oh boy. Cause they so they are so immune to probably yeah, that yeah, bad yeah, smell. Yeah, immune so to next, it too. Next um message there, Cassidy. Um I hate the bad odor. 488 says no Fronzy. Fronzy. Hug. Hug up. Hug up. Round here. Okay, Andrea from Hampton Court. Add that name, Cassidy. Um, turn off. What's a turn off? Physical, you know, turn off. Something that about the person that would turn you off from wanting to be with them. Um, so everybody's pretty much. And you know, there are some people who, if they, they, they'll, the person will have an odor, but then there are some who do not even smell it. Right. So uh, every uh, one, every uh, one of them stick a bush, yeah? Right. Uh, that and y- you find that the, the mission you're wondering, how oh, do we do it? Oh, do how oh, should do it? Because I smell this person, but then another person just, that maybe their priority or their inhibitions would not be that, in, you know, True. that. Um, what else would be a turn off? Apart from odor though, hygiene. So our mouth of a stay proper, um, she has to be kissable. And you judge that by how our teeth look and how our mouth smell. And you know, it's a big man thing. I mean, I'm too, too fancy the kiss kiss business, you know. Because what, Mike? <laughs> oh, you want to go there and you can't kiss her? No, oh, sir. Listen, man. You can't go there and, 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 and engage her. You know, <laughs> you, 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 you see, kissing is a level of romance, you know. Romance. Yeah, kissing is, 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 is a romance. And it's not a boop, boop, boop thing, really. Angle. No, kissing oh, now. Okay, sir. Kissing to me at that time, fluids are exchanged. You know? <laughs> kissing at this, so the ties start from too, you know. <laughs> right? So, when you talk about the kissing part there, I'm very, 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 very cautious. But, but okay, know? so as it relates to physical, there are certain things that a woman or a man can't change hey. about him, him or her. Yes. Yes. You ever buck up some woman in rude boy by the time uh, as it comes a bomb, the tongue I touch all the tonsil? Jesus. Oh, That's a turn off, man. Turn oh, off. Jesus. <laughs> oh, clear. Look like you, you drift, your brain drift. No, clear. no, no, no. Eh? Peter McKenzie says, you should always take a shower before you get in bed with your partner. Yeah. No, Peter. There are people who will tell you. That when they reach it and throw them hot, they just jump out of them clothes and jump into each other. Then the shower come after. But then there are others too who will tell you, it can't happen. Back in the days. Can't happen Back until a shower is taken. Back in the so, days, when, when, when we were at high school, you see, they talk about French kiss. And you want to wear French kiss, and they talk about tongue bath. Mm-hmm. And all that sitting there. No, sir. Wait up my face? No, don't do it. No, so me and Shreya said that 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 that, that kissing part there. <laughs> Rochelle and, says, if a man here is coming out of his <laughs> nose, is that no no for me? Thank you, Rochelle. Oh Lord, <laughs> yeah, Rochelle, um, go on. <laughs> if him fierce, hold on, Rochelle. If him fierce. And the whole mouth cover with ear. No, nothing wrong with that. I, I remember hold, that on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. I am talking about my lips getting lost in those here. It's not going to work. But remember, I new style now. Let me not talk about that one. A shave. Let me not talk about that. Yeah, somewhere they walk like Santa, one black Santa. Yeah, the but, ear but, black, yeah, but and it come like on Santa Claus. You know, we are talking about the new style. The Arabic. The it's Arabic all right. Look. It's okay. Right. I want if I'm, gonna, I think, if I'm going to kiss him, I should be able to find his lips easily. We well, you know if you kiss, and so then, then, then me just tell about the kiss. What part. if you know I am kiss. one of those persons who loves to kiss? Well, yeah, what if it's a kiss where the woman loves to kiss? 
And she wants to be able to it. kiss the man. You got you, you got have one bag of here to block you off. And uh, every woman can kiss you now that man make you know that that's what I tell us about. Why but, are but, you attacking you? And there are many who can. Many who can. Huh. So uh, but, stop no, attacking no, the woman. No, no, I'm just that. saying she's right. She said she said I agree with her with this the nose thing. But then also the will put ear on your, on your face. Well, I do up your Well, no, there's two callers at the time. Caller on, on the 954 no. is gone. Caller on the 453. Good night. Welcome, Prestige. I, I, I'm hi, sweetie. How are you? Yeah, I want to say good night. <laughs> yes, sir. Tell us what turns you off about a woman. <laughs> I know that the man called me on. Turns you off, sir. I know, what, I know what turns you on. What turns you off? A woman with her breath that smell good. That a one. Mm hmm Yeah. A woman with her... <clears throat> no, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. That was and number one. And a woman where not have good reasonability. Oh. Yeah. Turn me on. And what turns you on then? That is rude. I want to say good night to you, sir. <laughs> well, go on, my general. <laughs> yeah. Go on, what the fourth? Cool, no respect. Cleo <laughs> <laughs> can't grow in here, and we don't know that, you know. <laughs> what turned me on, Cleo? Yes. A woman that can... Uh, 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 uh. me the right and proper way. Aye. Okay, sir. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. I really talk, you know. Real talk. Funny level. A woman who looks sexy. Okay. A woman who have reasonability that turn me on. Aye. Turn me on big time. Aye. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Real yeah, talk, sir. Yes. <laughs> a woman like you, we're just nice and have a smiling <laughs> When I come in, slide style studio and feel, uh -huh. turn me on. Aye. <laughs> oh, yes, man. <laughs> so, so listen to me. Who oh, got a prestige here now? Right now, Alisa. Eh? The man there. Eh? Alisa, they must know that so you're sexy and look good. Hi. <laughs> 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 yeah, you are my co host. But personally, eh? A woman will look sexy. Okay. Right? A woman will have good. Reasonability that yeah. turned me on. Can okay. For me, you can see no reason to a certain thing. Yes. It turned me on on a level. Right? Real talk. It turned me on on a level. On that level, where maybe you can reason on that level. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you're okay with the smelly feet and something like that? You what? I told them to smell so good. You all right with that? With what? I told them smell kind of funny. Me don't want to think into a woman, man. <laughs> me don't think into a woman. Guys. That can't work with a man. What if our toes are not pretty? You know what you turn me on to with a woman? Yes. But they never talk it. Yes, when you go to work and you come back home. Yes. And we decide so to go dance. Mm -hmm. Me don't want you to be here and do nothing. You see? <laughs> You see, me tell you, you have me no different, yes. You're supposed to, all right. Oh. And, yeah, me like that little cheesy smell, it too. You like it touched? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have Cassidy in here choking. Smell. You like a little ranky smell. Eh. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Oh, no, sir. That's the road. All right, me done. Uh, Big up yourself. Big up yourself, my darling. Take care. Yes, love you. <laughs> All right, darling, love yes. you too. <laughs> Not too much freshness. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's my other co-host for y'all. <laughs> Darren says, laugh out loud. Some women are walking with their mouth and stepped in a bunch of mess, just like how a person's sh shoes would sometimes step in it. Oh, Lord. Um, call her on the 954. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night. How Good night. You? How are you? Good to hear a female calling. <laughs> you guys have me cracking up. I went to bed and I woke up not so long. Oh, Lord. That's good. <laughs> that means most of the show. Yes. I'd love to hear what turns you off about a man. Okay. I'm not going to get into that part of it. The thing is, uh -huh. for me, it's about grooming 
Yes. For people and IG. Yes. Because um, grooming is very important in a man. Mm hmm And if a man can see that there are certain things need to be done, I don't see why I should constantly be staying here. True. You need to trim the hair coming from your nose. Yes. You need to make sure your face looks right. Yes. You need to make sure that your breath smells right. True. And you need to make sure your teeth are in good shape. Mm hmm <laughs> Real talk. No woman should be telling a man, hey, you need to go to the dentist. Oh, hallelujah. Or Thank you, sister. You need to go to the barber. Mm hmm Stuff like that. You should automatically know. Good. If a man have, say for example, if a man or a woman have green or whatever, they should know. Mm hmm I am I am not one of the women that is, is afraid to say, hey, you know you need to whatever check that out. Mm hmm Because if you have a man or a woman, you should be able to say True. Tell some them people apparently does not pay attention to certain things. Yeah. You need to really say, Hey, you wanna check that out or maybe you need to change the dealer and it's you mm -hmm. because some dealer and depend on what's going on in your body. Yes. The way you eat have a lot. Yes. How your body pushes out certain things. Mm -hmm. Eating is important when it comes to, say, for example, oh, the person you might eat something or you might take a medication and then your body gives off a different odor. Mm -hmm. It can happen. Yep. I tested it. <laughs> I'm sure he's hearing you. Yeah. All right, my darling. So, uh, so basically, it's not about what I like or what I don't like. But it's those are standard things. In general. Right. In general, people need to take care of themselves. Real talk. And she's of course, some people, some men, some women are just disgusting with that. Are you okay with the cheesy foot though? The thing is this. It's not okay. Okay. It's not okay. Men need to change their socks every day. And, and it's not women alone who need to pedicure or manicure, don't it? No, but you know, some men is not going to do many and petty. Mm. It's on their belief. Some yeah. Them not. But, but if them foot, them, if them foot stay eyes. bad, they should. If their feet are ugly because of it, they should do it. I, I agree. Yes. Some is not. Real talk. It's what they believe in. I know. So we can't fight them down on that. All right. So to each his own. Definitely. <laughs> but for me, but for me, it's not about part, some people, some some men and some women all go to look. But go to look, the outer, whatever. Mm -hmm. But eventually some of them they say, Oh, she's so sexy. Oh, oh you so handsome. But there are a lot of things that are hidden. Okay? It's beyond that. Yes, it is. And that's what people need to realize. We're Real, beyond that. Real talk. Yep. All right, my darling. Thank you so much. Good way to close the show. Okay, good night. You, good night to you, to my dear. Oh, my goodness. We're out of time, guys. It's now 10, 9 past 12. And we want to say thank you for being with us and for sharing with us tonight. Looks like that the rude girls, them have some long tongue. <laughs> they do, right? They do, Peter. They do. Um, this is why I support styles always entertaining, I swear. Thank you, Marvin. And good night to all our listeners tonight. Those who participated, those who text in, those who called in. Thank you so much. Next week, I hope Brighty I will continue with the rest of his story. On behalf of my engineer, Cassidy, and my co-host, Daddy Rude, Lady Cleo, signing out. Until next time, God bless you all. Be good to each other. Love and share with somebody else who is less fortunate than yourself. Until next time.